Hey, what is up, guys? John from Magic Tech Review. How are you guys doing tonight? So, in tonight's video, we're going to be talking about everything um, that or Metro by T Mobile is going to be offering uh, pretty soon. You know, got my uh, confidential, um, you know, Magic Tech Review ninjas on the case, and they definitely came through tonight. So, thank you and shout out to all to those uh, that are helping out. And we're here to just, you know, Give awareness to uh, consumers, obviously, and stuff like that. So, everybody, sit down, enjoy. Uh, this is only going to be like twenty minutes, guys. We're not going to make this super long. We're going to try to get to the point. Me and Mill Hustles. So, go ahead and subscribe to Mill Hustles. He's like twenty away from a thousand. Uh, love all you nine. guys. Love the support. Nine. Oh, nine. He's nine away, guys. Let's get him to. Let's get him to a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, Mill Hustles. I'm going to go ahead and have his uh, link in the description. Don't have it in there yet. But yeah, we got a couple things to discuss. Like I said, super quick. So go ahead, Mill Hustles. Go ahead and throw some some of the points out there, bro. All right. For us. So I took a few notes. Um, the reason that they're getting rid of the PCS is because a lot of people don't understand that, and there's still in 2018 a bit of a negative stigma towards prepaid. So they figure Metro by T-Mobile, it'll kind of grow consumer confidence and give people it'll give metro a chance to prove to people that this is not regular prepaid this is like good good cellular service all right all right cool you know what I mean? cool. they said they're the largest prepaid carrier in the u.s that is debatable because track phone inc has 25 million customers they have metro has 18 million but you know they always say they do something first you know, they say other carriers, they get they invent something and other carriers say they did it first and they get mad at that while they do it at the same time. <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, they uh, said they're gonna they're gonna be very innovative, they're gonna, you know, change uh change structures, they're gonna do different things with their plans. So if you'd like to talk about that, man, let's go ahead and get it popping. Okay. Real quick though, they said Metro has more stores than Walmart, Target, and Costco combined. Yeah, sure. So okay. that's pretty much it. Okay, so now the main event, the juiciest part of the news that we got are the new plans that are starting on October 8th. The $50 plan and $60 plans are going to have some pretty big changes done to them. Now, before I continue, they didn't say anything about family plans yet or grandfathered customers. Like me and my... So let me start with the $50 plan before I continue. The $50 plan is going to get five gigabytes of hotspot and a cloud service called Google One, which is basically going to connect and give you unlimited storage through the Google Photos, Google Drive, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're saying that it's going to be exclusive to Metro PCS. However, I am a, I, I have a paid membership with Google Drive, so in a few months, I'm going to actually be able to get that even without being with Metro if I'm not with them at the time. So that's the new $50 plan, 5 gigabytes of hotspot, and Google One. Now, the $60 unlimited plan, this is where it really, really gets good. Yeah, They're now going to get 15 gigabytes of hotspot. Um, on top of their unlimited data, they're going to get Google One. And last but definitely not least, they're getting Amazon Prime included. Man, that is a great, that's a great value. That's an amazing deal. I got to give hats off to Metro, Metro by T-Mobile, Metro PCS, whatever they want to call themselves, man. They're being really innovative with this and I rock with them, man. Even though they're not working in my area too well or they're pretty spotty, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, man, Metro PCS is definitely doing big things uh, when it comes to this stuff, man. Uh, also, there's a uh, 5G news, yeah. Remember the five, the five G news they talked about, or you know, that was mentioned. Yeah, yeah, they said that they're going to be the first people to launch 5G. They were the first that launched 4G LTE. I can't verify that, um, unfortunately, but yeah, that's what I heard. So the, yeah, they said they were the first prepaid carrier to launch 4G LTE on uh, in, in the United States, something like that. Whatever you know, it, you know, it, they gray the lines, you know, whatever. We'll we'll give them whatever they want to say right right at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so definitely, guys, they're saying that they're going to be the first prepaid carrier or to have 5G uh, starting in 2019. So 
if y'all um i did upload a video about this um so if y'all want to check it out as soon as the stream ends go ahead it's just a quick breakdown it's the same thing i said here um but yeah shout out to everyone that's subscribing to my channel i'm almost at a thousand but yes these are huge changes i mean i'm gonna be honest i thought it would be even bigger than this so i'm yeah, a little too. little me bit too. underwhelmed but at the same time this is still awesome awesome news yes that's it almost 80 people yeah guys join on in join on in you know what i'm saying we still got a little bit a little bit more information to share or whatever but absolutely man it man it, man what what a hype i mean what a what good news though man this is like wow this is like this is pretty like i'm i'm i was saying that if they didn't share anything like really big this is pretty big though i mean you know what i'm saying yeah, you got but the name change you got the amazon prime you got the you know you got you got the google one the 5g you know like even the, the 5g thing man that's a pretty big that's a pretty big statement man you know what oh, i'm saying yeah. so so john ledger um also announced that they are like we we have been speculating. They are blurring the line between prepaid and postpaid. So what that means is, if you don't want to prepay at Metro PCS, this is what this is the language I understood. Of, of course, there's going to be more info coming out, but take this with a grain of salt. Apparently, they're going to give customers that qualify the option to postpay Metro PCS service, meaning that they'll pay a down payment for their phone. And their first month of service, they'll pay it, but they will be billed the same way as being on prepaid, which is actually not bad at all. If you qualify. Yeah, guys, we have several images and everything like that, but we're not posting none of the screenshot, none of that stuff. So it's not like any of these, you know, any of these companies could be like, oh, no, nah, we're not posting none of that stuff in here. So we're just sharing information that we got yeah, from hearsay. We, we cannot we cannot share any images because if we do, we're going to get our channels taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? We're, hey man, we're talking, you know what I'm saying? Freedom of the press, but you know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Uh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So what do you guys think of the chat? Do you guys think Ariel, this is shout out to your brother? He says main Juan, magic take and mill hustle are the best. Salute, bro. I appreciate the love. Ariel, if you're if you're if you're the, the one that's talking about the main check review, man, no hard feelings, bro. But that's you. No, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Nah, it's not. It's okay. not. Okay. No, nah, but not nah, because I did see. I did. It did say magic check review. I was watching earlier in uh, the main Juan's channel, but that's neither here nor there, man. Um. See, he said no problem. Brother. <laughs> see, he knows. He knows. He knows. I know. I know who that is. Uh. But yeah. So. Robert Hugh, Robert Hughes says I subscribe to your channel. Though. Yo, let's get him. <laughs> Let's get him to a thousand, bro. Are you at a thousand yet or not? Yo, little John is hype, 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 hype. He's hyped yeah, over the metro a, plans. Oh yeah, he's hyped over the metro plan. If you guys think this is a good metro, if this is if this is great for Metro PCS, type in a five. If you hate this, if you hate this and you think this is dumb and you're not, you really don't like it, type in a six. So I want to hear. I want to see a five or a six. Five if I'm you love five it. Five away, bro. I'm five away. Five away from a wow. thousand. Five. So hey. if y'all have multiple YouTube accounts, guys, I'll take that. Let me get to five before this stream is over, y'all. Let, let you get to five or a thousand. <laughs> let me get to five so I can reach a thousand. Yeah. I'll get the five. Okay, look at all these five, five, five. Hey. Yeah. Oh I, I just... Jesus. <laughs> what? No, no, I need five more subscribers, y'all. My bad. I, I I said that wrong. Let me see here. Yeah, and I, I do I do feel for the main Juan man. He's he was very sad tonight, guys. So uh, he's not able to you know he's not really able to talk about uh, Metro PCS stuff on his channel no more. So man, he's gonna have to like you know I mean he a hey, he's gonna have to pull up the, the pants and get you know do something different. So you know what I'm saying. But those those fans that that like him. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be there for him. You know what I'm saying? Two so, away. Two away. I'm two away. Two away, guys. Come on, yo. Let's get the hustles to that magic thousand subscriber guys, number. Like Amazon Prime is, you. y'all have no idea the benefits you get with Amazon Prime. Like you get movies, music, discounts, free shipping. 
if you live in the right area, shipping the same day or in a few hours. Um, Audible, which is ebooks, if you like audiobooks, like it's just so many benefits to Amazon Prime, y'all. It's crazy that they're just giving that away. That's a that's a plan you definitely do not want to lose. And I, I got a, I got another I got another I got another announcement. I got I got a yellow finger. It's because I was using Sasson, Goya Sasson. You know what I'm saying? I made some chili earlier, and I put a whole bunch of this. So shout out to my Spanish homies out there. I'm Colombian and Italian. For those that don't know, I was cooking with the Sasson. That's why I got the yellow. F I just noticed yes, you can watch Twitch. You can use Twitch also on Amazon Prime. Uh, hey, I'm at a thousand and three subscribers, bro. Look at that. Hey, there we go. But yeah, man, if, if you have not used this stuff, you're living under a rock. Use it. Sasson Goya. Sponsor me, boy. Ariel, I think you were in my live stream earlier, bro. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, bro. It's Sasson all day, bro. All day, dude. Oh my god. All day, I mean, bro. Chili, bro. I mean, if you if you don't have bro. that in your kitchen, I don't care what race of Latino you are, you are not real Latino oh if you god. don't have Sasone in your kitchen. Uh, or nor just, or I, nor. I, nor is cool too. Yeah, yeah. Instead, instead of using like white rice with the chili, I made it yellow rice. Oh man. Ooh. So good. <laughs> I'm drinking modelos right now. Hey, yeah, shout out to the Spanish homies in the chat. <laughs> yep. So magic. I'm eating McCain cheesy potatoes. Are pretty current. Oh man. So Scott Thomas is the free does bomb as well. Yeah. So guys, so let's go over the news real quick. One more time. How long we have we been? How long have we been live streaming? Uh, it doesn't tell me, bro. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do for a little bit, and then we'll you know what I'm saying we'll get off the air. Let me see. Stark M, this dude. What's up, Stark M? What's going on? Everybody, shout out where you're from. Shout out where you're from, man. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see this chat go blazing fast, guys. Shout out where you're from, and then Mill Hustles is gonna go ahead and go for the information. Nah, that Brutus Beefcake, that's my son. He's me and autistic, guys. That's who the channel is for. So any donations that come to the, cha the channel is for my me autistic son, Little John. That's what this is for. This is for to give you guys knowledge, save you guys money, and for Little John. Hey, oh my God, it says Alaska, California, New York, Madison, Indiana, Javon says Earth, Indiana, Florida, Mexico. You have the patience of a saint. Yes, I do. It doesn't even bother me anymore at all. Little John sounds excited about the news. Yes, he is excited about the news. Mm, let's see here. Colorado. We got New York gang in here. We got New NYC. We got 103 people in here. Hey, 100 people watching. Shout out. Shout out. Sean White is from VA. Kenneth Martin. Yo. Go ahead. Yo, John, let me go ahead and read the plans off one more time before we wrap up, because there's people just coming in right now. Yes, 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 definitely. Guys. All right, guys. So um, if y'all are just coming in, there's a couple of plans that are coming to Metro PCS starting the 8th of October. Um, the $50 plan is now going to have five gigs of hotspot and a cloud service called Google One, which sounds awesome after their description. So... Now, before I continue, I have, like I said, I have the $50 plan with 10 gigs, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to be affected if you want to keep that plan, which you definitely shouldn't let go. And then the $60 plan is going to have 15 gigs of hotspot versus the 10 it already has. It's going to have the Google One and Amazon Prime included starting October 8th. And that's it. Yeah. And then the 5G, of course, 5G is going to be, they're going to be working hard yep. on the 5G. How do I get the logo next to my name? Oh, if you, oh guys, if you want to subscribe, you can actually, it's called join or becoming a member. You can actually become a member of the channel. And then my little logo, the MTR logo, and your, your, num your name will become green. It's $4.99. It supports the channel. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do it up. Do it up. 112. Yeah, we about to break this thing. Let's do it. 
113. Uh, Becca S, we don't know. No family plans. They have they have not mentioned family plans. How they're going to do that? How they're going to, you know what I'm saying? They have not said nothing about that. Yeah, so I, I have a few people hitting me up about it as well, and we're sure that they'll let people know within the next few weeks. Um what what happens with those plans all right everybody guys in the, in the live chat shout out your company of choice who do you rock with metro cricket boost sprint i want to see i want to see what everybody what what the hybrid plans with they didn't really mention hybrid plans so that's that's probably what they were talking about yes yeah, so changing the name joel Yes. All right. We got cricket. We got metro. We got cricket. Cricket. Metro. Metro. Cricket. Cricket. Wow. Cricket. Xfinity. Metro. Ooh, look at all them. Look at all that. 122 people watching. Love you guys. Thank you. Don't forget to leave that like. JG Whoa. Tech Blog in the house. What's up, bro? Oh yeah, we heard definitely. We heard we was we was listening to uh, to our friend. <laughs> Look, bro, everybody is hype of this piece. Yes, JG Tech Blog. We would love to have you on here, but we know that you can't probably on be on here. Anybody that works for, for Metro shouldn't be on here at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Mint Mobile. Look at that. We got Verizon prepays up in here. We got everybody. Okay, Canada. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. So, the whole announcement basically was, once again, Metro by T-Mobile. That's changing. Uh, they're going to they're gonna do 5G. They're going to be the first ones to pull 5G in 2019, supposedly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we can't confirm that or deny that. Plans are changing. The $50 plan is going to have 5 gigabytes of hotspot plus Google One. The $60 plan is going to have 15 gigabytes. Bites a hotspot plus Amazon Prime, which is pretty dope. Yeah. Jesus. 113 watching and only 25 likes. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Magic Tech Review if you haven't subscribed. Subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed. Subscribe to JG Tech Blog who wants to come on and anyone else that on. has YouTube here. Yeah, he said he wants to come on. Wow. Okay. But uh, yeah, he says, well, yeah, sure, send me the link. Mm, how long will you see? Oh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go. What the heck with it. I, I wanted everybody to watch it, but all right, you gonna send them that? Or actually, I gotta send them that, right? Yeah, I don't have his email. Okay. Hey, Strange Highways with the $5 donation. Hey, thank you so much, Strange Highways. You don't even know how much we appreciate that, man. Getting ready for the holidays, getting ready, you know what I'm saying? And little John is actually going to buy his older brothers some stuff. So, yeah, it all goes to little John, and we're doing it for the holidays, getting everything ready. So you got, you don't even know how much you're, you're helping out right now. I'm trying to save up to give little John a special, special holiday. Uh, just like last year, matter of fact, everybody helped out on that. He had a blast. Let me tell you guys. Uh, let me go on my. Um, he had a blast. Yet it was the best Christmas for him, and it was amazing. It just because of you guys. So, JG Tech Blog. Shout out to John Miller if he's in the house. Because John Miller definitely was one of the ones that made his uh, made his Christmas last year. For sure. I believe he's in the chat right now. All right, sending him the invite right now. Hey, John Mills says you're welcome. Yeah, definitely, dude. Definitely. Look at that. Sage Tech with the five dollar donate. Man. Pretty soon I'll be able to take super chats, I think. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Present or holiday presents. Thank, you know, thanks a lot, Oscar. Ooh, a thousand subscribe so If you have not subscribed to Sage Tech with the five dollar donation, man, thank you so much. You get a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Let let people know that you got a got your channel and everything. I sent out that uh invitation to uh JT Tech Blog. So, but don't come on here if you don't want if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if don't ask me to take the stream down. You know what I'm saying? If you get whatever, so it's on your own accord. But. So Metro furthered their lead in the prepaid game. So what's Cricket's answer? Excellent question, Wade County. What's Boost's answer? Boost Mobile will do something. You know Boost will do something by tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cricket's probably going to take their sweet time, but they'll probably do something eventually. You know and I'm straight I, I know they have people watching. They probably have more ninjas than I do watching. What's you know what I'm saying? Talk do? What's Straight Talk going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. As long as Straight Talk has their 24 hour access through Walmart, they don't need to change. Nope. So, guys, if anybody wants me to read the plans out one more time, if you haven't heard them or didn't understand them the first two times, go ahead and type a one in the comments and I will read them again. Mustard Ultra Ink stinks as I have a mental disability quite similar to your son's. Magic Tech, I feel for you, bro. I'll give you a dinner. It's not really a disability. It's a, more of just a – he's just a little special, man. He's just a little special. I don't, I don't really consider it I don't a like disability. That. I love – I don't like the word disability. Yeah, I don't like – I have a I son like with autism. Guys, I also have a son with autism. And I actually just found that out a few weeks ago, uh, a few months ago, that he had autism. I didn't even know. And it's, it's not it, – they're just special. They probably think we're dummies. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so let me go ahead and read the plans out one more time. So the $50 and $60 plans at Metro are getting some changes starting October 8th. The $50 plan will get hotspot once again, except it'll only get five gigs of hotspot and a new cloud service called Google One, which is pretty awesome after they explained it. It's great for those storage hogs, photographers, videographers, content creators. So Google, Google One. And the $60 plan is going to get 15 gigs of hotspot. It has 10 at the moment, but they're also going to get Google One and Amazon Prime. And these plans take place on the 8th of October. Um, Google One is not free. Uh, it, well, it will be included with Metro, but if you get Google One outside of it, as soon as it launches, you'll have to pay for it. It's not expensive. I, I pay for Google Drive, so it's going to be included. To get the Amazon Prime, a deal address you have to have a $60 plan and this is for anyone even if you're with metro you're porting in or getting a new number yeah well i think bro, i don't know bro i don't think we should metro, take it too long bro yeah i know yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead bro metro metro lt bro yo stop stop with that self-promotion stuff bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying don't nobody like that man you're over here screaming in front of mine in front of my audience, man. Sorry, man. I just I don't I don't rock with that. Unless I know you personally, unless we we communicate and you help me out, that's cool. One thing, but don't be. Oh, I got it now, nah, 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 nah. bro. Don't. Uh, anyways, let's see here. I just don't like people. I don't consider it a discipline. <laughs> uh, Same here, all right. <laughs> yeah. Think that will change? Yeah. It's but it's gonna take. It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and just cut it off, I guess. And then I mean, no mention like of non -unlimited. no mention of non unlimited plants, guys. That's pretty much gonna stay the same. We'll know more. This is still early, so yeah, yeah. Oh hell! <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Subscribe right. to Mill Hustles, y'all, please. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Uh, I might come on here a little bit later just to do a regular. Oh damn, bro. There goes JG. I'm, bro, I'm about to go. I, I didn't want to make this super long because I want people to actually rewatch it. Oh, okay. okay. We we'll can we'll uh, stick around five more minutes. All right, that's fine. All right, five, five, five more minutes, guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, no, that's cool, JG, bro. bro. I, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know too much about what you guys have said so far, but 
uh, all I can say is to, to your um, to your fans, I'll make it really short. They're basically, which is really smart. I, I actually like what they did. They're really trying to compete with Boost more than I thought they were trying to go away. So all the speculation yesterday turned out to be all wrong. But they're doing something crazy. Right now, the prepaid is going to be postpaid, basically. They're, um, they're basically trying to, the performance that you get right now on T-Mobile is going to be the same performance that you're going to be getting with Metro, what you were getting before. So they're going to allow them now to use the same network. You know how they used to like give priority to Metro, not T-Mobile? I'm sorry. Yeah, they give priority to T-Mobile, not Metro customers. But now it just they're basically going to see them eye to eye. They're basically giving T-Mobile's blessing to Metro. That's why it's Metro by T-Mobile. So it's just not just the change of names. It's also the change of. So for everybody that's watching, anybody that got Metro, my recommendation, this is really good news for you guys because your service is about to be up there. JT, you know, let me ask you something, bro. Go ahead. Do you think that Metro is doing this in case the merger doesn't go through? You know what? That's exactly Let's call a spade a spade. Yes. <laughs> very good. Very good, Milhouse, because that's exactly the same feeling I had. Because they see there's a lot of pressure from the FCC. They're like, you know what? Whether it goes through, cool. If it doesn't, this is what we're doing. We're going to provide you with way more than anybody else. They're going to give you the 50 unlimited now, right? And they're going to give you the G1, so unlimited, uh, what's called cloud data. You can. I don't know who uses that that much, but that's an incentive. They want to make sure that everybody gets it, knows how it's working before you walk out of the store. And so way better customer service. They're upping their performance. They're up, upping their branding. As, like I said in the beginning, they're just basically giving T-Mobile's blessing. T-Mobile was a little bit higher brand. When you look at T-Mobile, it was always higher brand than Metro. So they want to level it out now saying, you know what, we're going to hire, uh, what's it called, whoever got Metro, we're, we're making you not just look ghetto. We're going to make sure that you got the best service. So now that you came on, JG, this brings up a lot of questions. But I want to make a comment because I did a video about this a while back. And okay. I'm not going to expect answers from these questions because these are brand new. But I said, while the Metro, while the Sprint T-Mobile merger continues, it's still business as usual. They're still going to be competing with each other. That's You yeah. know what I mean? But what I was trying to say was... Um, it's, John, sorry about that. If you want to... Uh, I mean, I don't want to make this long for you. So, sorry, I, I didn't know you guys were shutting it off. No, it's all yeah. good, bro. The additional information is great. Um, and we didn't hit that yeah. point. So, Metro PTS, no problem. With this Google One, you can pretty much say goodbye to SD cards. Exactly. Yeah. So, giving you a lot of problems with the devices uh, was, uh, you know, not having enough storage and stuff like this. With this, you're going to get unlimited storage. Anybody that walks into the Metro store, any Metro store, starting October 8th, you automatically qualify for those uh, plans, by the way. Just as long as you walk in, they'll switch you up. No questions asked. And then the 60 that I mentioned it would be unlimited with Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, that's great. That is great. I don't know if you guys know. Amazon Prime it gives you, like, uh, the, mu the movies you can watch, Amazon Music, the fast shipping. Oh, it's tons. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Prime member myself. It's, it's Music, awesome. movies. Food, clothes, news, uh, books, college books, um, just crazy. Free shipping. You know what's going to be really cool? I don't know. They didn't talk about this, but, you know, it's cool if they will now, all the phones they have at T-Mobile, they will now have with Metro. The heck with it, man. Let's just stay on. It's fine, man. We got some donations already. You know what I'm saying? That made the stream worth it, so... You know yeah, what? Man, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go through the video. If, if anybody can hook us up with some timestamps, I'd appreciate it. Okay, if you guys want, I mean, it's fine. If you want, I, I mean, uh, we can make another yeah, screen later. Sorry, and I, I gotta take this. Give me one moment. Hello. So yeah, uh, we got, we got, we got the donations that made it worth it already so thank you thank you guys for the donations that definitely makes it worth it because without the donations the live streams they make like 50 cents so uh you know what i'm saying so that that make, they're making it worth uh worth streaming up here uh let me see 29 minutes ago 
All right, that's fine. Um, so, so man, so yeah. this 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 news, dude. This news. I mean, every we thought it was gonna be we thought it was gonna be hybrid plans. We thought it was gonna be this and that and the third. It is kind of hybrid plans if you think about it, you know, because yeah. they're giving. That's you what that. they mean by their hybrid plans, exactly. Everybody was yesterday, worried. They, we speculated that they're gonna uh, they're gonna blur the line between prepaid and postpaid. Now, this is what blurring the lines means to me. It means keeping the same pricing for prepaid and postpaid. Yes. Is that a fair, a fair uh, hypothesis? And better, uh, I would say better reception, better network, better service. You know what I mean? Yeah, for postpaid. Yeah. So now you, you know how before we see prepaid as, you know, more lower end, while postpaid is, you know, like up there. Better reception, being priority, getting uh, you know data and all of that. Now they just want to like what you said, Mill Hustle is blurring the line by prepaid and postpaid doesn't really matter no more. Get prepaid, you're gonna get that same service. Mm. What is Boost Mobile gonna do, dude? And what is Cricket gonna do? Are they gonna do anything? Cricket. Cricket will do something three months down the road. Boost Mobile will do something at the end of the week, and Straight Talk will do nothing. Exactly. What does everybody think? What does everybody think in the comments? What is Boost Mobile going to do? Let, let's let's focus on Boost real quick. What do you think? What do you think, guys, in the panel? Boost Mobile. What are they going to do? What what would, what would you be your move right now? If you're Boost Mobile CEO, you just had you know they probably had ninjas and and people watching the stream, you know, watching whatever, so they know. They know what's going on already. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They probably have journalists up in there typing it out. So what do you think Boost Mobile is saying right now? They're like, yo, what are we doing? Go yo, ahead. JG. JG, let's 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 pretend that this merger goes through. Mm -hmm. And they tell you, because you you're a metro uh operator. Oh no. So hey, I, I need to mention that because I know John was saying he might have to take the video down. Look, I don't know if you knew this. I am in no way affiliated with Metro, T-Mobile. I'm not a spokesperson. I got to give this as a disclosure as well at all, like nothing. I am no way working with anybody anymore. This was all past tense. And uh, all this information that I'm actually giving you was all online. I actually don't even have access to anybody from Metro and it's like that no more, or the stores or locations. This is stuff, if you just find the right places online, you can find all this info. Uh, so, so, okay. So either way, I'll still ask. How yeah. would you feel if they said, okay, JG, you're a Metro owner. Now we're going to start implementing Boost Mobile in your stores as well. So these stores are going to be Boost and Metro PCS. How would you feel about that? You know what? I, I always thought about that and I realized they would never do that. You know, it, just thinking about it, it's just going to be what I was saying last night. We're just going to be closing stores down. And I, I don't know if I could share this picture with you guys or show it. But it was basically stores. I, maybe this is good if I show it to you. Um, it's before and after. Basically, it showed how uh, this map of how many stores are metro in one location and how many stores are boost in one location. And you would see they overlap. Almost every place you see a metro, you'll see a, either a cricket or a boost. So if you guaranteed if they put them all under one umbrella, you're gonna have to close many of those stores. So for dealers, not too good of a you know sign in the future. Right, and I mean if you're gonna put the same if you're gonna put the same things in in the stores, what's gonna be the difference? You know what I'm saying? That's like the same phone. They literally have almost the same phones. You know what I'm saying? They just different name. So that's not gonna work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, so, right now, from what they did, is it's, it's uh, what Mill Hustle said. It's most likely just to say, you know what, this merger is probably not going to happen if the SEC is giving us so much trouble. So we'll just put ourselves, if it does go through, if it doesn't, we'll have the upper hand regardless. Yeah, Michael Thomas says, JG, what, you're not an owner of a Metro store or a fit? You don't have to say anything. He's, he's a guest of mine. On the channel, and he's a YouTuber. That's what he yeah, is, bro. I'll, I'll say it right, yeah, right here. I'm not. <laughs> nope. Nope. Absolutely. Mm. No shape or form. He's JG Tech Blog. That's who he is. That's it. I'm just JG Tech Blog. I'm just reporting on stuff you find online. That's it. Uh, 
Let me see. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, I, I, I uh, forgot to mention this. 5G. You guys know that Metro PCS was the first carrier to carry uh, 4G LTE as a carrier in the United States? Really? Yeah. And so I'm guessing they're trying to do the same thing now with the 5G. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to mention no names, but they bought some uh, TV companies to do that. So they're, they've bought some TV companies for Spectrum. So they yeah, can layer TV. Mm -hmm. Layer three, layer three, or something like that. Yes, 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 exactly. And so that's going to use that as spectrum, I guess, to push them up there. Um, Wade, uh, wait a minute, Wade County. I disagree. Um, I get good coverage with Boost and Metro PCS where I live at, and you know, depending on what the deal is, I'll be going back and forth. They're both great companies. They both, as they said in several news. Uh, releases that if the merger goes through, the companies are both going to be safe. They're not going to be absorbed because they both have different customer bases. Uh, somebody's saying, JG, are you Yemeni? Yes, I am. It would be nice to have another Yemeni in the house. That would be awesome. <laughs> Y'all got to respect the guests. Be grateful for the information they provide. And Emiliano, shout out to you, brother. That's right. Guys, just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Get that pop. I got Let's see me take that, bro. What's up? He said he'll be on the Hey, have, oh, you, okay. have you ever used this, bro? Have you ever seen this, bro? You know about this? Sasson Goya? You got to use it, bro. Uh, is that the, like food coloring? Yes. It's yes. See? That's food coloring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think my family uses that for the rice. And hey, yeah. Sweet. That's some good stuff, man. Bro. It made my, my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it always happens. Let me see. Mm. When Metro, piece, Metro puts Layer 3 in their plans, game over cell phone wars. I mean, you know, you got you, you still got to see what... what you meant. can't just say game over, you know. We gotta we gotta give everybody a uh, you know fair. Hey, just uh, mind you guys. By the way, it's gonna be big. I'm gonna tell you that. Like this is this is it. Metro and T-Mobile is gonna make this. You're gonna see it in every corner and every TV station. It's gonna be on in the football game. Uh, yeah. They put it in in so much money for this thing. I guarantee you, most likely gonna because they want to make sure this branding reach every single person that. Hey, you don't need cricket. You don't need AT and T, Verizon. Just come to prepaid. We're gonna give you that best service plus Amazon Prime for free. So we're gonna get that word out. We're gonna hear about it soon. I don't know if cricket has enough. I don't know if cricket has enough uh, advertising budget, dude. They don't advertise, man. It blows my mind, dude. They're like advertising, like I I remember in my area at least, man. You see the Metro PCS buses go by all racks. You know, what I'm saying? you know, like the cricket buses. does that a little bit. The thing about cricket is, and I've noticed this when I work with my ISEs when I was at cricket, they expect us to be their advertising. Yes, dude. Which I, is not a I, bad I, thing because it really helps us become great salespeople. But at the same time, the way Metro advertises, the stuff practically sells itself. So I wouldn't be surprised. And this is conspiracy theory hustles talking right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if down the road there becomes actual metro kiosks. Yeah, you know what? You know what? That is so true. Bro, I, I guarantee you that their distribution channels are just not going to be sticking with the stores. They might or most likely start getting into other channels, maybe getting into like Walmart and all these other things. They are most likely would do that. Mark my words. You'll see. JG, you don't, you don't think, bro, this is my, this is my thing. I think that the stores are going to go away eventually, and they're literally just going to have a little, you know, red box type thing where they're going to have the phones, they're going to have the plans. You pick, pick, and then boom, and just go. Your phone falls down, you get a new number, and it's already ready to go. You just unwrap it and just go. Yes. You don't think? Well, for sure. I agree with you 100%. But, <laughs> but I mean, it's not going to happen right away, not overnight, but. Yes, it's going to take some time, but I, I, I agree with you. You know what? Like how uh, Walmart see, is, you know, you just be like, boop, 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 yeah. boop, order, order your sandwich. You could be ordering your phone right next to your sandwich, bro. And then be like, all right, peace out. 
You know they have that in Japan already, right? What the phone? Where you go to like uh, the airport, right? Yeah. There's like this. Um, what do they call those? You know where you get your uh, like you get a soda. The, um, what do they call those machines? Vending machines. Vending machines. Yeah, vending machines. Correct. And where you can literally just get there, and say, "Hey, I need a a, a number." Click the plan, and it comes out with the phone. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, those Crazy. are in, those are in Asia everywhere. You can get cooked food out of those, dude. Do um, um, you know what could happen too if these if these because we gotta we we're all we've all worked in the cell phone industry and we know how much a nag and pain porting your number is. They could very well tell you you can switch with us, but you got to get a new phone number. If these kiosks come to the states, I mean, it's and, it's. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anytime that a customer says, you know what, I'll just get a new number, <laughs> salute to you. I want to give you a discount because you just took a load off of my work. You know what I mean? And I would still give them the porting price if I was allowed. That's cricket, though. Man, shout out to the 110 people watching up this piece. Leave that like. Share the video out. Show oh. some love. Support. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Also, JG was nice enough to uh, come hang out with us. So... Subscribe to his channel as well. I appreciate it, guys. No, hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Mill Hustle. Uh, John, thank you for having me on here. Didn't want to mess up your thing. I do agree sometimes it is better to have it short. So if you uh, I'm going to go. Uh, thank you for having me on. I, you know, any other information, if I get, I'll throw it y your way, you know. Uh, yeah. We'll have this short so people can watch it, I guess. How many quarters for an LG V30? That's funny. I mean, they have Best yeah. Buy kiosks at airports. Have y'all ever seen those? What is it? Best Buy mobile kiosks. They exist in airports. They sell iPhones, iPads, um, Beats. It's mostly Apple products they sell. I didn't know that. I haven't seen those yet. But dude. Yep, I've seen them at the Dallas, Dallas International, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. That's the only place I've seen them at so far. Then, John, your, your dream is going to come true sooner than you thought. Oh, no, it's not a dream. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate sure. it, brother. Yeah. Comment, comment, comment so people can, so people can uh, sub to you. I appreciate it. Let me uh, comment, comment. He's gonna Is comment he an right admin? Are you an admin, bro? Or yeah, he's an admin. Moderator? He's a moderator. I think you're the first person with this info, bro. I don't, I don't know if anybody else... There anyway. you go. Okay, so YouTube. I don't know if I should put the whole link. Or just put subscribe and they'll click on your picture. Oh, okay. Yep. And then, oh, yeah, congratulations, Mill Hustle, brother. Congratulations. I appreciate it, man. I, yeah, man, I said today we're going to reach 1,000. So Heck we'll wait yeah. back. Appreciate that, man. Where you at now, bro? 1,012 or something like that. Yeah, 1,012. Hey, let's do it. All right, Mill Hustles, bro. Type your name in there too, bro. Let's do it. Why can't Juan talk about it anymore? Because he's a, he's a dealer, man. He can't just be putting out that information like that. He's a dealer. He let, let everybody know he's a dealer. He's in the store. You know, so he's going to have to, you know, change up his content or whatever he's going to have to do. I don't know what he's going to have to do, but hey, for those of you that support him, man, support him. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, I'm in California, so the time here is still six o'clock. Somebody was saying, that, "How come it's still uh, daylight where you're at?" By the way, I don't know if you guys heard. Do you guys hear that screech of the cars? Somebody just hit somebody outside, and then did a hit and oh. run. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Wow, I didn't know. So the main Juan uh, couldn't uh, bring up the info. Live stream, live stream the event, bro. Like a like a like a madman. Do I stream the event? <laughs> three three people three dealers called into the metro saying, "Yo, <laughs> you, you cut it up, brother." Yo, you guys still there? Yeah, I'm here, bro. He's the one having connection issues. Okay. Yeah, I mean the thing about Main Juan. 
Yeah. Um, and that's my boy. That's that's my that's yeah. my homie yeah. right there. Great guy. Yep. Main Juan is my homie. Um, his content when he first came out, it's explosive. People love to hear the the negative side, and that's you know, what's the what's the uh, expression? Drama sells. You know. Yeah, it does. You know, I, I'll be honest. I because I, I did previously was in Metro. I was affiliated with them. Uh, before I left and everything like that. And even then, like, I kind of kept it on the low not to show that I had anything because I didn't want to affiliate with them in any way. You know what I mean? Um, because it might, like, hurt you in the long run. Uh, but now, look, it, it's my First Amendment right to uh, say what I find online. So I don't think it should be any problem. John, you cool? My battery's about to die. I had to plug it in real quick. He's probably having some connection issues. Yeah, let me let me. I don't see the comments. I have it on my phone. Let me see what the comments. Manaz say. said, "Manaz and NTR Mill Hustles have something to do with one fan." Absolutely, absolutely not, man. Man, Juan is my homie. Me and Juan talk almost every day. Nah, that's that's that never ever that. And I'm from the streets too, so snitching is something that I don't do. Nope. He should have just put out the news, put out the content, didn't even see, he didn't have to say nothing about he owns the store. Yeah, that's, I don't know if you, if you've seen, that's how I started for a minute. But you know what? I, I actually respect the guy. I spoke with him on the phone. Really good guy. I mean, you know, I wish him all the best. I, is he? What is, did did he say? Is he still gonna be posting or? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give him a call after we're done here. Yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna talk we're gonna talk through it and see what he can do. Maybe. I'm not, probably not gonna be Metro stuff or not Metro news. So, I don't know. What's up, phone take at work? What's going on, man? What up, phone tag? What's going on, bro? Thanks a lot, Michael Thomas. Yo, I'm actually very excited. I don't know about you guys. I'm really excited. I I personally, you know, I, th I think T-Mobile is a really ge a great company. Uh, and they're really going to try to compete and beat over, uh, a uh, what's it called? AT&T and Verizon. And so mm -hmm. what they did, it... It was for the con consumers. The customers are the one that are actually going to benefit the most from this. Because honestly, look, if you have right now wh whatever plan you have, you just got to walk in. Don't have to purchase nothing. If everybody's trying to get you, hey, you got to buy this so I can change your plan. Nuh -uh. uh, just walk in and say, hey, you know, I, I get this unlimited plan and I get this Amazon Prime and I get all this, you know, better service, better reception, network, etc. You win it. Who's winning at the end of the day? It's more than the, the customer. True, true, true. I mean, and I think this is going to be good for Boost. Because, well, not good for Boost or Cricket because they're going to have to come down on the prices. They're going to have to do di different things. So then we're going to have CV Tech in here. Let, eh, let's, we'll just keep going on, guys. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Whatever, man. People will. I'll, cu I'll cut this down into a shorter uh, video tomorrow. So the heck with JG, talk about First Amendment freedom of speech. Yes, brother. Uh, let's see. What about the people that have the four line unlimited family deals? I mean, you probably gonna have to come, uh, come up, keep it going for the fans. Well, hit the hit the like button, man. If I don't see enough likes, we're just gonna go. If I see more likes, we get CV Tech up here. Let's do it. Talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying, the MTR happy. Hey, JG, will putting YouTube, YouTube fair use disclaimer before every video prevent Juan from getting any strikes against his nope. chat? Nope. The thing about it is it's, this is not a YouTube thing, you know? It's a, it's, it's a Metro PCS and a dealer thing. It's not a YouTube. YouTube can give a shit less. Exactly. You get more views, more watch time. They don't care. It's uh, a whole different thing. Oh, yeah. It's agreements, non-disclosure agreements. As long as you got that sign, you got to follow its policy and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I don't think, I mean, uh, I don't think anybody here got any anything like that. So, 
Mm-hmm. Um, hey, and at the end of the day, we doing this for you guys. You know, that 99 people that are watching right now, this is for you. Honestly, Magic Tech, you know, John Mill Hustle, they giving you this information. Who benefits? So, you know, if we got it, we keep it for ourselves, but we're giving it to you guys firsthand. You get it straight, you know, be the first to get all this info. Yep, absolutely. I'm not doing it for me. I don't even have Metro. Right? Yeah. Do you think the FCC won't prove the merger? Uh, in my opinion, honestly, it's, it's going to be really complicated. They're really going to have to do some big stuff to have the FCC. I, I doubt. I don't think. It's going to be really hard for them to do it. But that's just my opinion. Who knows what's going to end, uh, end up happening at the end. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think Metro should probably just keep it, keep it to themselves. Man. I don't even know why they want to hit. I don't even know why they want to do this sprint thing. I, I would, wouldn't even do it. I just let sprint sprint sink, man. That, that ship is that ship is <laughs> it's out of debt, to be honest with you. I, I think it's for Spectrum, bro. I, I don't know too much details about this, but I think that if you join and you like you get their spectrum and if they're running out of spectrum to get, you know, the five G and stuff like that, it's gonna be like an extra push for them to get to the top. You know, especially if they're able to merge those subscribers, because it's all about numbers, bro. So if you got that numbers on top of the Metro numbers and the T-Mobile numbers, you that's it. You you talk you a top dog now, right? So instead instead of having those four competitors, now you're just down to three top competitors. I, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know how many subscribers they have, but I think in total they'll beat uh, Verizon, and then it'll be AT&T, T-Mobile, then Verizon. You know what I mean? Mm. You trying to you trying to upload the Metro live stream? You crazy boy? Yo, I I do Metro LTE. Don't, I don't do know. it, bro. Don't do it. Harper, yes, less competition is never a good thing. Exactly. Exactly. It, it, it's not, you know, I, I, that's why I think that the merger is probably going to affect consumers more. And, uh, if, if it was my opinion, uh, I don't, I don't know if you guys, the owner of boost mobile, he's been ag against this for a minute too. He's been talking a lot about it saying he doesn't want it to go through cause he knows it's really going to affect the consumers at the end of the day. Cause look right now I, they're doing this because they got this competition. They're trying to win over. They're giving us this more uh, free stuff. They're giving them the free Amazon, the G1, unlimited, more gigs, more hotspot. Uh, so who's benefiting the consumers? So it's competition is good, you know? Metro CT says, but why they don't know anything about me? They're going to take down. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna reach out to YouTube and they're going to be like, look, this is our information. This was our information. Meeting. You're cutting up. I'm saying that I was telling the Metro, don't upload that video, bro, because they're gonna. Yeah, I mean that. Hey, Metro. that's 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 their that's their that's their proprietary video. You know, you did saying? not make that video. Yeah. So that's that's no. They will take it down, bro. They'll give you a strike. Bah, within like ten minutes. Right. But hey, Metro, you know that's we and John got nothing to do with it. We are, we we're not nothing to do with us, right? Right. We're just talking. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Um, if John Ledger is CEO of new merged company, I think it's going to be good, and John Ledger is going to kick AT and T Verizon's ass. I think so too. This guy's in on mission, brother. He's he's really trying to take. He's trying to be the top dog. He's trying to be the top. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna give up anywhere until he's at the top. Yeah, that Metro LT. That's like me making a video, you downloading the video, and then uploading it on YouTube. I'm gonna give you guys a strike, like within five minutes. So you think a whole corporation's not gonna do that? Come on, bro. Be smarter than that. FCC won't let them keep Metro Boost and Virgin, so they're like, "Oh, hey, Metro is T-Mobile now." I feel bad for Juan in his store. Um, well, let me tell you this. 
from what I've read online is that the FCC, one of its uh, requirements, if the merger does go through, that T-Mobile does not, if they do uh, do the merger, they do not uh, uh, shut down like uh, Boost Mobile or, or, or uh, Metro. They keep both of them. I think that's one of the requirements. John Ledger for president. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, he's going to the Tuesdays. I'm sure it's cool. <laughs> See Mobile Tuesday. Oh, my God. <laughs> for everybody. Let's, have <laughs> Let's have Trump Tuesdays. <laughs> right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is Metro still going to keep the thirty and forty dollar plans? That's a good question. I, I I was reading online trying to find anything about that. I couldn't. I don't know that and it, and, and then the family stuff, the four four hundred. I I don't know. I might have to research a little bit more. But as soon as I get something, I'll, I'll throw out to uh, John or he let you guys know. Can you should offer free wings. Wings stop wings for porting at least thirty wings. <laughs> Bro, I would, uh, bro, I have a cricket, man. Give me the wings, bro. I'm in. I'm leaving cricket right now. <laughs> you know, I heard you're going to do something like that. I was reading somewhere online that with the Amazon, now you'll be getting like, uh, they have that Amazon Fresh. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, getting the food straight to you. I mean, man, it's going it's to be good. It's going to be really good. Bro, but how many people, but how many affected by the Amazon Pro? Amazon, that thing, Amazon Prime now with that one. Hour, you can literally order something like you forgot the chips. You like they were like uh, you know you forgot your dip, you forgot some beer, you forgot this, you forgot that. At the store, you don't even have to. You don't have to call no Uber. You don't have to. You know, I'm saying get in your car, drive in a dangerous situation. Just Google, get online, oh, and order just just whatever, man. Yeah, yeah. I it's no way. Crazy. That's crazy, dude. It's it's gonna be awesome for Amazon as well. Amazon's gonna benefit big time for that, and this is, bro. This is just the steps to get to the future. You know exactly what you were talking about. You know everybody just going in phones. I think this is what's all about. Because now Amazon and Metro and T-Mobile working together, they want to get people ready. Like, hey, you know what? You don't have to go to the store no more. Just from your phone. I and I guarantee you, they're probably gonna make an app directly on whoever buys a Metro phone. You're gonna see that straight on your app. Download it already. You just gotta click some buttons and get that dip or whatever straight to your house or that what what, what you showed me right now that color. Uh, so in my yeah, city, yeah. where I live at, we don't have Amazon Fresh, so I'm forced to go to the store and interact with people. Uh, oh, Amazon. how sad! But uh, the day that I could actually live somewhere that I get Amazon Fresh, goodbye human interaction. Right, it's it's crazy, man. The future is like. I don't know, man. Some good things and bad things. Goodbye. Yeah, family plans. I don't think they're gonna touch them. If uh, the twenty, the people with the four four hundred, I doubt they're gonna do anything to them. They're just gonna keep it. I think they're keeping everything the same. It's only if you walk in and you say, you know what, I want that new plan from the fifty now to the fifty with the G one or the sixty now to the sixty with the Amazon Prime. They'll switch you up. If you don't, keep you up. Now, let me ask you this. Ooh, what that's happens a, that's to customers with a $50 plan and 10 gig hotspot like me? Sorry, guys. Give me one second. All right. Uh, bro, look at this question right here. Dan Sickle says, so now that Metro is giving Amazon Prime free, does that mean Amazon will sell Metro phones? Yeah, most likely. It could happen. Wow, dude. That's a good. That's actually a very good question. There could be Metro, uh, there could be private exclusive phones that they don't sell at Metro stores. Mm. That is a good question, guys. Guys, what do you think about that? Yes or no? Throw it in the chat. Throw it in the chat. Yes or no? Do you think they're going to be selling Metro phones on Amazon? And JG, JG, you're, JG you're we need your perspective on that, bro. What if they muted. sell Metro PCS devices that are exclusive to Amazon that you cannot get out of Metro store? He's muted, bro. Tell him, everybody say muted. Muted. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was talking. Um, 
Oh, he dropped. Damn it. Yeah, that wasn't me. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to have to send him another invite, maybe. It must be. It must be. Oh, um, John Ledger just, or not John Ledger. What if uh, Jeff Bezos just says, you know what? I want to buy T-Mobile and Metro. He could. He, he, can, he can afford it. Absolutely. He should. Uh oh, they just sent they just sent him to the Stone Ages, bro. I guess his phone just died. It's probably, it's probably charging it right now. I guess his phone just died. Yo, JG, I got some breaking news, bro. What's up? Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, wants to buy Metro and T-Mobile. <laughs> that would be crazy. I won't be surprised, though. That guy got money. He wants to own everything, so I wouldn't be surprised if he made an offer. Yeah, absolutely. That Are you for real? Nah, nah, I'm just joking. Like say, no, that, <laughs> if that, that was true, I would be like, hey, guys, I'll be right back. I got to make a video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Listen. I really think if Jeff Bezos and John Ledger, I mean, they when they work together, they work together. Yeah, I won't be surprised if they if they start ruling every single company. It's gonna be a big monopoly. Oof, yeah, you're right, man. This does put and this puts Google in the same, bro. Google, Amazon, and Mac. You, you know uh, what? Oh no, Donald no. Trump will not like that. And Donald Trump does not like Jeff Bezos or John Ledger. He's argued with all of them on Twitter. <laughs> he will try to block that with the quicks. I did not think of that because you are right. The G1 offer for the $50 plan is working with Google and then the Amazon and then T-Mobile working together. Yo, that's scary. They're doing it on the sneak, bro. Yo, that's scary. It is scary. So that means they're talking. It's not like they're just like, yeah. Hey, you know, that they're trying to make, uh, Amazon's trying to make, trying to open 3,000 Go stores where basically they'll have one or two people there just for technical help. No wow. cashiers, nothing. Bro, a lot of jobs are gonna go out. I'm gonna tell you. I made a video about that, but I took it down because I kind of got in my feelings a little bit. But I was saying things like, "Oh, notorious job killer Jeff Bezos." Hey, but I don't. You know what? On the secret, they're probably doing something. Hey, this is just speculation, you know. But I do think that if they do start selling Metro PCS phones on Amazon. Yo, that's that's gonna hurt a lot of dealers. Oh yeah. I mean, what if they start selling Metro exclusive devices on Amazon? That would be. I cool. mean, yeah. Jeff is worth a trillion dollars, yo. His company, he, I don't care, money talks. They will agree to something. Right? Yeah, they will definitely agree to something. I mean, and especially if they're looking more than just money. If they're looking for like. You know, power that would definitely work something out. I mean, Amazon could come out with that long rumored wireless service of theirs and use T Mobile Towers. That's another thing. Verizon's not going to like Amazon anymore. Um, sorry, Mil, uh, what you say? I mean, what if Amazon launches a wireless service with T Mobile Towers? You know, didn't they come out with some kind of like Fire Phone or something like that previously? Yeah. yeah. And that didn't too, didn't do too good. So maybe this is some sort of comeback where they're not going to bring out the phones, but they'll just support, you know, with T-Mobile and selling the phones. And that's probably where they can get a cut into the carriers, you know, in the uh, services. A Fire Phone sold at Metro, a new Fire Phone. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah. It'll I probably know. get made by the same people who made the Revel. Who made the Revel, by the way? I that 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 just screams ZTE. Right? Yeah. I I don't know too much, but that would possibly be ZTE. If Amazon owner is richer than Donald Trump, that's why he hits on Amazon. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I mean, not trying to go into politics about that, but they yeah they got their own beef going on. But all I can say is that if if Amazon, T-Mobile, and Google do come together, that's big. That's big. If they come in. 
What if Amazon starts selling Metro plans? Yo, Nick, if that really does happen, I don't, what do you think, Mill Hustle? That'd be kind of messed up. They'd be going the cricket route. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's good they're going to have this, uh, you know, in-store experience. So they'll always keep that, you know, even if they do in the long run come up with vending machines like John was saying or something like that. At the end of the day, this customer interaction, actually physically visiting the store, touching them, testing them, that's very important for the customer uh, to actually go through. Different companies rivals on Alcatel. So what do you guys? What do you think, guys? That cricket can do to character to go against this? What can cricket even do? All to, cricket's uh, gonna say is, "Oh, we still have better coverage." That's it. I swear. Yeah, I mean, wh what else could they do? Uh, honestly, I mean, good question. Like, what? Who else is out there? What are they gonna go try to uh, make? Uh, eBay. Right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. They're gonna go connect with eBay. What they can. Who uses uh, CV Tech? What's up, man? What's going on, y'all? What up, CV? Hey, man. What's going on, y'all? How's it going? Y'all gotta talk. Y'all gotta call me, uh, Mister A Thousand Subscribers now. Oh, you got a thousand, huh? Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. Hey, Cricket needs to give YouTube bread to compete. Okay, I'll take YouTube bread. I'll take. YouTube Someone was bread. giving out YouTube bread for free. With uh, sign up, no, that was that was T-Mobile. They were doing that with Netflix. Never mind. You get Netflix for free. I don't think they would do that though, because you see, Google is, owns YouTube, right? And they're working with Metro right now. So I mean, T-Mobile and Metro. So Metro and T-Mobile, like, nah, -uh, don't do that. If you're gonna do that, give it to us first. I mean, you could you could work with one person and another person, man. That's not that's there's always people like that, man. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Just because two people don't like each other, don't. You yes. can't work with them. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If I can get money with you. all the time. Why not? If yeah. I can get money with you, that's, that's, I'm down. You know what's, what Cricket could do? Cricket could be like, okay, guys, if you're a Cricket subscriber, and they don't have to make any changes on their plans, okay? But if I was Cricket CEO, I would figure out a way to be like, okay, if you're a Cricket subscriber, you will get YouTube Red for one dollar a month as long as you're with Cricket. And, and that yeah. is true. Metro LT is like everyone uses YouTube more than Amazon. I mean, I don't know. You could argue with that both ways, but yeah. Amazon what do you Prime? Like? I mean, Amazon Prime Video or Netflix? Video. I don't watch the Amazon Prime Video. I've never even watched it, bro. Not one time I in my life. I've had it forever. I love Prime Video. So do I. I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> I about Especially I my favorite shows like Unsolved Mysteries are on there. Oh yes, definitely. Oh, I've never I've never watched it one time. Hey CV Tech, man, what is going on? Everybody subscribe to CV Tech that is not subscribed to him right now. We got Mill Hustles past a thousand. Let's get CV Tech's numbers up there. And of course, JG Tech Blog, thank you for being on the show twice in a row now. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yo, you know what's funny? Don was telling me two months ago, two, three months ago, dude, start a YouTube. Dude, start a YouTube. And I was like, eh, nah, I'm good. I'll just keep adding to your channel and blah, 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 and look where we are. Okay, so I came in late. I didn't listen to nothing that Metro or T-Mobile had to say. Um, so I'm kind of clueless. All right. Do you want me to – do you want to explain it, JJ, or should I do it? Um, all I'm going to say is that, hey – T-Mobile is trying to rewrite the script of what prepaid is seen as, and now they're trying to level it with prepaid, postpaid being the same. That's basically oh. what's going on, but take it from here, Mill. So oh, okay. I'll follow up with that. It seems like they want to offer postpaid but keep the prepaid prices. That's the language I understood, but that's just my perception. Cool deal, cool deal. Also, the $50 and $60 plans are changing. The $50 plan is going to get hotspot again, but it's only going to get five gigs and it's going to get a cloud service called Google one that's launching soon. And then the $60 plan is going to get 15 gigs of hotspot, uh, Google one and Amazon prime. Yep. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I'm looking here at the, at the comment. NS Trash says, I, I have T Mobile Unlimited Plus, Unlimited 3G also for $38.99. That's what I'm paying right now on Better CM, which Better CM is a part of T Mobile, or it was. And that's what I'm, I, I got the exact plan for the same price. So you can't really beat that. Uh, you have unlimited 3G hotspot? Yes. Hmm. You know, someone said an excellent comment yesterday that really stuck with me. Why won't AT&T let cricket be great like they used to be? I don't know. I mean, I can argue with that. I think they're still great. I mean, do you think they've uh, went down a little bit? Uh, the, 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 the problem I'm having with cricket, I'm an ex-cricket employee. Okay. I was with cricket for almost two years. And they're a, they have, as far as plans go, it's a great value. Either way you look mm -hmm. at it, strong coverage, but the phone pricing, the activation fees, um, things like that, it just keep, it's just it's holding them back. I mean, I, I mean, my personal opinion on cricket is, you know, even with their eight megabit per second cap download and upload, to be honest. You know, whenever I come out here and do a live stream and I was getting eight to nine megabits down, six to seven megabits up, I could have a very clear, crisp live stream without any issue whatsoever. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm streaming right now on T-Mobile pulling 70, 80, 90 megabits, but I can't tell any difference in my live streams on an iPhone SC from using Cricket with eight megabits or using T-Mobile with 70 megabits. To me, it all looks about the same. <laughs> it's when you I really mean, get down low is when you really start to see the difference. I'm going to go back to 2015, and John and I spoke about this earlier. John, you were there because <laughs> when I started at Cricket, you had been there a while already. Yes. And when you left Cricket, I was still at Cricket. Um, and I might be going back, too. Um, but they're, they used to have these awesome switchover deals. Like – if you switched from particular carriers, they'd give you fifty dollars in bill credits, a hundred dollars in bill credits, or they'd give you a rebate card, a Visa, or a oh yeah, couple I, of I remember it. Excellent phone lineup in twenty fifteen. They had a way better phone lineup than Metro PCS did, and then what was that nice Samsung phone they gave us, bro? The Amazon, I mean the Amazon, the Samsung. Uh, was it the Prime? Grand Prime, the one with the good for huh? Grand Prime, yeah, I think the. Is that it? The one that had the good front-facing camera. That was yeah, white, yeah. and it was pretty big. It was a five-inch. Yeah, so they gave you the Amazon Samsung Grand Prime with a $100 porting credit. I think that was awesome, dude. Free and $100. Yeah, that, that was the best deal they had. You know, so, and not only that, but then there was a time where Metro had phones like the Z Max Pro, the, uh, the Cool Pad, uh, whatever it was. They, they didn't have the greatest phones, but they had good plans. And now it's totally flip flopped around, and Metro is just killing it. I think now they're really going to surpass Straight Talk. Yeah. I mean, I mean, honestly, I think when it comes to like Metro Cricket, if you don't like their phone selection, you can just go out here and buy any unlocked phone. Exactly, and that's the same thing with Metro. But Metro has good phones. That's the only thing. Yeah. Now, I mean, going back to what I was saying earlier about you know like better see anybody who was lucky enough to get better see him. I mean, I know. Better SIM, you cannot just go onto the website and get a SIM card and have it sent to you. Sent to you, you I mean, it was like it was like an invite only type deal. So you had to pretty much put in your email address. They had to actually contact you and say we're gonna we're, we're gonna offer you this plan. And I got I got Better SIM, and pretty much Better SIM is I mean it's a T-Mobile SIM card. I mean, and better sim is unlike anything else. Where I mean, I can use. I mean, I can you know utilize every one of T Mobile's towers, all their partner coverage. I get fifty. My, my data don't deprioritize until fifty three gigs, and even I, I use seventy eighty gigs. And I, I never seen deprioritization. Um, even even on a crowded Friday night in the middle of town, I was still get gaining like a hundred megabits per second. Um, so I mean, a fifty-three gigabyte, you know, you know the prioritization threshold, and I even use way surpass that. And I, I mean, in thirty-eight, I mean thirty-eight ninety-nine a month, and there, and that's all I pay. There is no extra fees. I mean, that's like, I mean, the plan is the plan is thirty-eight ninety-nine with auto pay. That's what I pay, and I mean, 
That's, Are you keeping that plan for the long run? I'm keeping it as long as I can, man, because better sim is not offering it any, anymore. So, I mean, you can't get it anymore. Uh, that was like a very limited time deal, and um, now it's not even – you, you can, I mean, I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even know if there's even a site you can go to or nothing anymore. I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, for 38 bucks a month, this plan ain't going nowhere. Hopefully the sim never goes out because if the sim goes out, I'm not sure what you'll do. I'm just curious. Have you tried the $25 plans? They usually come up with Metro every now and then. Yeah. In, in, uh, in your area, uh, CV? Um, what do you uh, – uh, I just want to see if they give you – because they're unlimited too. I'm just wondering if they gave you good uh, reception out there. Um, well, where I'm at right now, I get I'm, I have full LTE, I have full LTE, full signal, strong. I can I can drive north about a mile, and I'll, go, I'll and, and I will drop to like one bar service, awful speeds. I won't even register at the time. I can drive a mile south of here, and I I, I will drop my speeds by like more than half. And once I get out of the city, about two miles. It's it's in and out. So I mean, you know, uh, T-Mobile in my in my area it does good, but I mean, it's it's no, it, it, I mean I've seen a lot better service with the other three carriers than with T-Mobile. But for the price point that I'm paying for better SIM, thirty bucks a month. I mean, even though my I mean even though at my house I got to depend on Wi-Fi calling. Um, cause I mean, I literally get no service at my house and I actually live in a fair coverage area and for like two or two and a half miles, I get no service at all in, in, in any direction. Um, so, you know, yeah. yeah. You know, actually, uh, John, this is interesting. Can you, yeah, tell them whoever has Metro, I want to know how many, we got 102 people, by the way, shout out to everybody that's in this, this stream. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, but yeah, hit number one. I think if you got Metro, I want to know how many people of our viewers, you know, they got Metro PCS. Okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, who has Metro? Who has Metro? And who's going to be switching to I this got plan? Metro. Oh, and his, track, and his track says, I love you too. Oh, thank you. for $2 donation. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and while we do this little intermission, make sure you subscribe to all of our channels, please. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, congratulations again to Mill Hustle. He hit a thousand. What are you at right now? A thousand twenty? Thousand twelve. <laughs> Some <laughs> ugly, uneven number. If I can get to a thousand twenty, that would be awesome. Yeah, why not, man? Let's 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 try for that by the end of the um uh, by the end of the stream. Yeah, Amen. I mean the, the the more the better, you know? I mean, oh, this, yeah. is, this is where it happens, man. New Year's 10K with me, baby. Oh. And we got 105 people. So for the people that just came through and they got Metro, you guys got some good news. You know, uh, Metro, I mean, T-Mobile is now leveling, leveling up. They're giving you really, really good performance, better than what you used to see before, better plans. You're getting more with your plans. Same plans. What If you're paying 60 before and now you're getting 60 plus Prime, Amazon Prime, you're getting that 15 gigs of hotspot. Uh, and so basically, you know what, if at the end of the day, they just, that's why they changed the name, by the way. That's why they're doing Metro, P, instead of Metro PCS, Metro by T-Mobile. It's basically letting people know we're blessing Metro with that, with what we have. You know how before they used to tell us, by the way, don't tell anybody that we're affiliated with T-Mobile. But now they're just trying to make it public, you know, because they trying to, they were trying to, you know how everybody was coming in, you, you got Metro piece of shit. So everybody was kind of yes. associating Metro with like ghetto, you know, and so now they're like trying to let people know Metro, we're bringing them up uh, and we're blessing them with our premium service and hopefully even their phones that we see the lineup that we see right now with T-Mobile would also come over to, uh, to Metro. Now, Oh yeah. Go ahead. Now, now I know that in, in, the, in the past, um, Metro, I mean, T-Mobile, for some reason, did not let Metro utilize all of their towers. Are they going to change that? Yep. Yeah, I, I mean, from, from what yeah. I've 
meeting online, they're saying, yeah, they're gonna the same service that you get with the postpaid is now gonna be with the prepaid. No change, no no, no difference. Well, right? that's what well, that's that's the way it should be. I mean, I, in my I mean, in my opinion, you know. Exactly. Now, what happens? I'm gonna bring something that up that we never talk about. What about T-Mobile prepaid? <laughs> Oh, oh, let me let me give a quick, let me give a quick shout out, Kyle Pratt. Thank you for that dog donation. All goes to the channel, to the family, to Little John, saving up for that holidays, man. So Little John can have a blessed holiday this season. So thank you very much. Go ahead. That's really good, Mel. I, I mean, that's I don't know. I'm in my opinion. You you put in competition to T-Mobile prepaid now, because now why would I go with T-Mobile prepaid? When I can get more with Metro, you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Interesting, what's gonna happen in the future? I I mean, you know, with with these prepaid plans getting better and better and better. I mean, what do you think the percentage is gonna be of of customers going going prepaid instead of instead of? Because I, I know that I know that the majority of people that's on postpaid. Does it for these flagship phones where they can finance, you know, a lot easier than you know than a prepaid carrier. You know, do you, do you think that, that the percentage of uh, postpaid users will start going prepaid since there's actually better plans, more per and, and everything else? You know, they're getting with prepaid the same with postpaid. Well, they're blurring the lines. Yeah. We've heard that part. John Legend. That, that's an interesting thing that a CV brought up, and I actually like it. So they're blurring the lines between plans, right? But in terms of devices, you know, people will still go with postpaid from what I understand CVTXA because they got this finance options, right? And that could be the only reason they still go to postpaid. But if anybody really wants everybody to try to go prepaid, they're probably going to bring up something in the future that I, I doubt they, they forgot about what you just said. They're probably going to do something. We don't know yet. They're probably going to give some incentive for people to get the higher-end phones with Metro. But then if yeah. they do that, it makes you think, like, then what would be the reason for me to go to T-Mobile if I could just go to Metro by T-Mobile? You know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and, you know, and you know, like, like I said, the awesome thing about, you know, going to Metro, going to Cricket, whoever the case may be, is that you know there are there are so many awesome unlocked phones out there from China and all like you know these Xiaomi devices you know that are capable with bands for L for US these other you know Huawei Honor all these phones that you can buy for like two three hundred dollars that are really really nice phones that are coming out now that you can just pop a SIM card in you're ready to roll. Mm -hmm. You guys, John Ledger, go ahead, bro. No, no, uh, I just wanted to mention the One Plus Six T is coming to T-Mobile. What if it went to Metro for like ninety nine dollars? That would be insane. That would be harder to find than the iPhone six S. Probably <laughs> you would never find it, dude. <laughs> would you look for one if it was that cheap TV? You, you dog all right, I would. I mean, th that would be like boss man for like. I mean, I mean, do you know how many? Do you know how many people will be will be flocking to Metro if they had a hundred dollar, hundred dollar one plus six T? I mean, now look, John Ledger said it verbatim on what I saw. Verbatim, he said it himself. Do what you want, postpaid or prepaid. You, you know, they they'll still uh, have something that differentiates Metro from T-Mobile. That's for sure. Because you're gonna mess up with your brand right now. You know what I mean? I don't think they want Metro to completely take over the T-Mobile brand. So they'll still uh, they'll still leave some differences, and so that probably goes back to what CV Tech and. Letting those that want to get the higher end phone still finance and stuff. I think you got a uh, super chat, John. Pratt with and friend. Thank you. I said, even up for the whole, um, you know what I'm saying? This all goes to little John. So, and, and his brothers, he's getting he's helping his brothers out with some guys under the tree. So, all thank right, guys. you so much. NS Track said CDMA is dying out. All carriers will, will soon will soon be GSM. So I'm gonna get off subject a second. There, if every carrier was to go GSM tomorrow, potentially AT and T and T Mobile could surpass Verizon. Wouldn't it be awesome? I well, mean, say that. 
because the GSM coverage. AT and T is the number one network with GSM. Mm-hmm. Verizon CDMA. So what if they both go GSM and AT and T just has more spectrum? I keep hearing that being thrown around. More spectrum than Verizon does. But here's the thing. that is true. Uh, Verizon, I heard. Uh, I'm not sure if this is correct 100, percent but Verizon has the least spectrum from any other carrier, and that's why they've been trying to buy from other people left and right uh, in auctions, government auctions. But one thing that I think that might be a problem because many areas across uh, the nation they still need CDMA. There's some parts of the nation where you still won't get as good of a service if you uh, if you don't have GSM. You still need CDMA, so they'll still have a big market. Yeah, I know for a fact that you know Verizon got. I mean, Verizon has always been a, you know a good carrier, but if if y'all remember Alltel, Alltel was a fantastic company. They, I mean, they had coverage in all the rural areas that no other carrier really had. And whenever whenever Verizon bought out eighty five percent of Alltel and they took their tower, see in my area where I live at right now, um, Alltel would get out great. Verizon, you couldn't even get a bar service. And whenever, you know, and then, then whenever Verizon bought all, all to, I get great service now with Verizon. So it makes you kind of wonder where, where if, if, if all tail would have never sold out and Verizon would have stayed like it was where they'd be today. I, I really don't believe that they would be where they are right now. If it wasn't for them buying out 85% of all tails, um, stuff, because I mean, they really, I mean, cause there was a lot of places um, where Verizon was just dead. They had nothing. And then, but, but Altel had service everywhere. And then, I, I mean, I don't know why Altel sold out to Verizon. I have no idea why, but whenever, but whenever they got all their towers and all their whatever, they, I mean, they, they grew like double, triple the network from what I, from what I've, from what I've seen anyway. Um, Bobby said, one thing I've noticed with Metro PCS is there is a lot of dead spots in my city for Metro Internet. What city are you in, Bobby? Uh, because it, with Altel, with Rise, with Met, with all the carriers, it's, it depends from location to location. Who has towers where the others don't, um, and all of that. So was Singler. They were awesome when they were around. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I, I had Singular there for a while. Uh, like I said, I had I had about every carrier that you could think of from 2000 until now. I've had about every carrier you can, on the East Coast you can about think of. What was the one? Suncom wasn't there like a Suncom? It, like, it had like a service. You guys remember that? You cut out really bad, man. I can hear you. Uh, he's gone. Um, Suncom. You know, was probably one of the worst carriers I ever went with, I, I ever had. Uh, Suncom didn't stay around very long. They was bought out by T-Mobile. I haven't heard of them. Where were they? Suncom East was Coast. around. Okay. Yeah, they were an East Coast thing, and Suncom was around um, for maybe a, a year or two. I don't. I'm not sure how long they was around. Uh, back in the middle 2000s, I want to say 2005, four, six. I'm not really sure when it was around. Um, but they were awful. I mean, even I mean, I could drive, I could drive all over, all over the city, and never get above two bars of service. And this is back before LTE and all of that. And uh, once you hit it, I mean, I would get a, a, a half a mile out of the city limits, and I would just lo- lose all service. And finally, they just gave up, and all and T-Mobile took them over. Sorry to cut you off, man. Sergio in the comments, Sergio Chavez. Yo, it's good to have you in the chat, man. Say so just got back from the event. Looks like everyone going to the on the little time. You one hundred percent. Can you tell us something, brother? Uh, you went to the event. Anything with the family plans? Uh, will they change any of that, or will they still still stay the same? Also, the thirty and the forty plans. They haven't. They didn't mention that at all. Okay. And, and did they mention anything with the um? Uh, what was that? That can we confirm that it's only five gigs? You said five gigs or ten gigs with the fifty. Five gigs. Five gigs. Because I think they have 10 or 8 years right now, right? So it's kind of weird that they would... There's a grandfather plan. Because when I returned to Metro, I got the $50 plan and they didn't have the hotspot. So I had to call Metro customer service and they gave it to me. But they said that that plan's been discontinued. Only the $60 plan was getting the hotspot. 
Okay. Okay. So, so if someone has the fifty dollar plan with the old hotspot now, they will keep that. It looks like, but they won't get Google One. You know what? Oh, That's uh, sorry. Go ahead, CV. Oh, I, I was going to say, to the best of my knowledge, Metro was Metro has never had a hotspot plan on a fifty dollar plan. It's, is that I mean? Because no, I they had, did. They did. I a hundred percent. That's what I actually had last month. Because the reason why, because I've had Metro, you know, over the course of the past, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty recent and last year and the year before last. And the only plan that I see with Hotspot was planned for $60 a month. $50 you just give you unlimited data with no Hotspot. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I could find the conversation because I was actually talking to them via Twitter. Oh, wow. With the, with Metro? Yeah, with the fifty dollar hotspot. You left. Yep. You away. What happened? It's gone. Wireless was a good service. What? I have the I have the message right here. I'm gonna put it right now. Mm-hmm. Metro did have a hotspot. Yeah, I know that they did, but I was under the impression now with these new plans, because they increased the 60 to 15 gigs of hotspot. So I'm wondering and curious if they increased it on the 50 as well. Uh, it won't make sense that they would put a five. But it, I mean, probably that's just another reason for them to push to the uh, people to the 60 plan. Okay, here it is right here, guys. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, thank you so much for really. I, I was able to place you on an expired plan of fifty dollars with a limited LTE and ten gigabytes of hotspot for your. Oh, is this today? No, this was uh, July. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. But the thing about it is, like, I was talking to CV about this. I don't know if you know, a while back. And I was like, man, they, they should have told you about that. CB, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. So that plan did exist. It was just, I guess, not marketed that much. Yeah. yeah. But they, uh, there's some people that still got it. I had it. I moved up to the $60 plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jamie Slaughter is like, you can't look at it, but what is the one? Honestly, I've, I never heard of Google One. Anybody here heard of Google One before? It's a cloud thing. It's like it's supposed to combine uh, photos, Google Drive, and all that stuff. It's great for photographers, videographers, content creators, and stuff like that. Saving some movies that you might want to see later on. Wink, wink. <laughs> Hello, Lo. When you're not by your family. <clears throat> That's pretty cool, actually. You know what? That's going to compete with the uh, iCloud. I think it's going to eliminate SD cards for higher storage phones. Damn, you got to think of how much servers they got for that stuff, you know? And where is all that info being saved? Like, somebody hacks into that cloud. Everything. You got everything that's just up there. Privacy. Okay. Okay, uh, TSP says it isn't Google One like Android Go. No, they're they're completely different. Android Android One devices is devices. You know, there, uh, there's a few devices out there with Android One where they get guaranteed two years of OS updates and three years of like software patches, security patches, stuff like that. Android Go usually has a lot less RAM, a lot less storage. Uh, these more budget phones that has a lot of apps that are like Facebook Lite, Messenger Lite, Gmail Lite, where they take up a lot less space. So there's a big difference. Their Android One is a device is, I mean, they're completely different than Android Go. All right, guys. I'm going to go. Uh, thank you, John, for having me here. TV Tech, no Congratulations on the thousand again. Thanks a lot, man. All right. You guys take care. Have a good night. You too. Right. Good night, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'll put my uh, name in the review if you guys haven't subscribed already. Take care. You have a good one.
<laughs> so I want to say shout out to all the hundred people watching right now. Y'all were all awesome. Thank y'all for being in this stream. Yep, yep. We got to bring the information to y'all first, whether it's me, no hustles, or CB Tech. John, are you Yo. gonna uh, are you gonna trim this stream and make a couple videos, or what are you gonna do? Probably, yeah. I might I might just trim the. Uh, I might just tr if you want to do it for me, I might just trim the beginning of it and just make make it uh, a short. You know what I'm saying? Another thing you can do if you want, um, just take my video and just add additional information. That'd be a lot easier. True. Let's see Android One phones or Google Pixels without the Pixel price. Mm -hmm. Wow, viewer, what's up? Says hi. Let's see here. So, who who in here hasn't heard the information yet about the new plans? Zen written asks, when will the name finally change? Is there a date when the whenever the name will change? I believe it's this week, the twenty eighth. Okay, cool. I don't know that I don't know because that's that's a lot of rebranding because they're gonna. I don't know if they're just gonna have the shirts. Or they're going to actually do the stores and everything. So probably October 8th. October 8th. I, I would say October 8th because of the plans then. So. What's going on, Sean White? How's it going? I tech you out, guy. What's going on, man? Thank you for joining the stream. All right. So who hasn't heard who hasn't heard the info yet? Go ahead and type in a uh, type in a two if you haven't heard the info yet. So you can let us. I want to see how many people haven't heard the info yet. So go. I wonder. If, I, I wonder if they'll make it also where you can just, where you can just put your venture SIM card to, to to another phone without having to call in and do it. I doubt it. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, that would be like really nice because that. I mean, that, it, that is so aggravating to have to call in um, and and do a complete change. I mean, with like, with, with like cricket, you just pop your cricket SIM card out, pop another into uh, a new phone, you're ready to roll. Yeah. I mean, with, with Metro, you got to call right. in and do this and do that. And, yeah, you know, with Family Mobile, Walmart Family Mobile, you can just switch your SIM card. Yeah. Um, with Straight Talk. If you sell your phone, like if you completely disconnect your phone, you better make sure you keep that original SIM card in there mm -hmm. because it is a hassle to get them to activate a new SIM card. They don't sell them in stores. They'll have to send you a new SIM card. Yeah, because I know that me, uh, whenever I joined into the three-line plan on Total Wireless, um, I activated my LG, LG Fiesta 2 slash X-Charge. And I'm using that SIM card in every phone that I change to. If if, if I want to, if I mean, I don't, I don't, you, you, I don't have to go. On, I mean, I thought you had to, always had to go online, you know, do like a BYOD SIM card, had to change over and do all this ESN changes and junk. But one day I'm like, I want to take the SIM card out, or yeah, and I want to see if it'll work in my essential phone or another phone. And I can just pop it in my essential phone. I can pop it into any other, uh, any phone, and um, it works fine. I mean, any, as long as, you know, um, as long as it's, you know, s s Verizon compatible or whatever. Um, my central phone, it works fine. My Auto 5S, it works fine. I have I have no problem whatsoever. I mean, I can put my, I can put my total wireless SIM card into my Unlock Metro uh, iPhone SC right here, which, and it works it, without having to do anything, which, which is what I really like. But like you say, yeah, you better, you better keep that original SIM card if you're planning on selling it. Yeah, and that's uh, let me clear something up too. That's mainly for branded phones. Yeah. So like if you buy a straight talk phone in a box is what I mean. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go over the plans again for everybody that has not or that's just joining in. So basically on the eighth, the plans are gonna consist of the fifty dollar plan is now gonna have five gigabytes of hotspot and come with Google One, hundred gigabytes of uh uh, uh, cloud storage, then you're going to have $60 plan. It's going to come with 15 gigabytes of hotspot, the Google One Live thing with 100 gigabytes of storage, and Amazon Prime free included with that. 
Also, Metro Metro by T-Mobile is going to be claiming to be the first to bring 5G in 2019. Um, and and I think that's about it. You have my hustles or did I miss something? You got it. All right. There might be a few few little little things. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, Amazon Prime. Yep, everybody everybody that's going to be on a $60 plan is going to get a free Amazon Prime subscription basically. That's a good value, man. Was 29 now? Yeah, thir yeah, 13. Well, 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 yeah, th thirteen bucks a month for the full Amazon Prime. If you only want Amazon Video, it's like eight ninety nine. Um, but, but but for full Amazon Prime, it's thirteen bucks a month. That's what I pay. Me too. So, me too. I mean, that's a, that's a I mean, day. I mean, sixty bucks a month for unlimited plus hotspot plus Amazon Prime. That's not bad at all. I, that's, no. that's that's really a good deal. Because I mean, if you got Amazon Prime. You can just cancel that out if you got Metro. So you, you got to take thirteen bucks off of that off of that price of the plan, you know. So I mean, I mean, I mean, if you count it that way, it's a good deal. And that's how they're going to keep people from switching over. Because if you if you switch if you switch over to another company, you're going to lose your Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where they're going there. The only thing is, is if if if, if only T-Mobile had better better coverage in in, rural, in more rural areas. Dude, what, if, that. what if T-Mobile and Metro kept the same plans they have now, but suddenly they were able to use the same towers as Verizon? Oh man, oh. T-Mobile would just would would, would that be it? They'd be like the only carrier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll never happen, but that's wishful thinking, huh? <laughs> or, yeah. or if, if T-Mobile had the same coverage as Verizon, just, what do you just, think just it would general. cost? What do you think it would cost T-Mobile to match their coverage? Oh, there's no tellings. Like, if I, I guarantee, if it was only two or three billion dollars, they would have did it a long time ago. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, there for a long time, I kind of had the feel that T-Mobile cared cared more about their T-Mobile Tuesdays and their this, that, and the other to care about coverage. Uh, that, uh, you know, that's how I felt for a long time. That's how, that's how I still feel because, I mean, you know, living in the same spot for years now, my coverage has never increased. I've called T-Mobile over and over again about my coverage area, and they're just like, yeah, well, we'll, we'll have somebody check it out, and that's all you hear about. And yeah. Then a year later it goes by, they, then you'll call back and they'll say, well, we're, well, we're actually working on on towers in that area, but then you call back again, no, nah, there's, no, there's no planned towers in your area. And I'm like well, – Yeah, you and also – I was always saying back then, you know, Metro instead of investing in their coverage, they're just giving out free stuff. Well, I mean, I mean, actually, Metro don't control, you know, can't control or build towers, just you know, because it's just they pick you back off of T-Mobile, of course. But so, I mean, it's really all T-Mobile. I mean, T-Mobile's got to be the one to actually, you know, makes the effort to put in more towers. And honestly, if if T-Mobile would would spend more time with their towers, especially in more rural areas, to where more people could be covered. Cause there's, I mean, uh, there's, a, I mean, there's a possibility T-Mobile could could dominate. Yeah, I said before that, hey, give it five to ten years, T-Mobile will be the number one cover carrier just because of their deals. I mean, I mean, I mean, I haven't seen in in, in my state alone. I look, I look at the coverage map a lot, and in my state alone. I can go on there one month, next month, next month, and the coverage is the exact same. They are not. I mean, they, I mean, they may be doing more in other parts of the country, but as far as my state goes, they ain't doing jack squat. Hmm. Yeah, they know. Well, they know where their bread and butter's at. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, like I said, they, they could be doing a lot more expansion in other areas where you know there's just nothing with T-Mobile, but. You know they they kind of need to go, go nationwide. I mean I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the deal. Someone said cricket is going away. Is that true or a joke? Uh a joke as far as I know. 
You know, I thought there for a long time with the AT and T plans and all or prepaid plans and all that. I thought that I thought there for a while that they was going to try to weed out cricket, but I don't really believe it. I mean, I don't know if it's going to. I mean, I don't know if it happened, but I thought I thought there for a long time was, you know, because I, I mean, with all this stuff, you know, with cricket was, you know, these plans and that plan and this and that and the other and the phone selections and all, and then you got AT and T with the same kind of with a sort of the same plans. I thought, are, are they trying to weed out cricket entirely and just shut them down, or what are they going to just, just have AT and T and AT AT T prepay? I I, you know, I, thought, I thought I thought that for a long time. I, w- I wish they would just make it cricket by AT and T or cricket under the net AT and T network or ran by AT and T. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we're always told as cricket dealers, do not mention AT and T, and there nowhere do you see. On the AT and T network, like we even right now, it. huh? We still say it. Of course, runs on the AT and T network. Okay, sign up. So I don't know why they never wanted you know you to say that. I mean, when, whenever you, when like like, we, like I mean, I, I think I've heard Cricket say you know um, running 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 on the you know one of America's best networks, but. Whenever you realize, well, it's GSM and this AT and T is the best GSM network, so it's, it's it's not rocket science. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody pretty much knows that it's this AT and T. You know, I mean, it yeah. sure ain't T Mobile, but it won't say it. Like, oh no, 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 no. I mean, that's that's like that's like that's like you know, you don't see it nowhere or hardly you don't hardly ever see you know where Boost Mobile is Sprint, but when you buy a Boost Mobile phone. And you turn the box around on somewhere in the back on a, in a little area corner, it'll say powered by the Sprint Network or something like that. But as far as them, you know, saying it's you know boost by Sprint or Sprint this, you don't you don't see that. You just you know, like I said, when you when you buy a phone, you turn the box around, look at the box. It'll, you know, somewhere on the box it'll say you know it'll, it'll say powered by Sprint by the Sprint Network. Hey guys, join the uh, Discord, man. Join the Discord. Those of you that are not in the Discord, we love, we love, we would love to. Yeah, and also a lot of times, a lot of times, lots of, when you buy a Boost Mobile phone and when you first power it on, don't activate it on the top corner. We'll say Sprint until you activate it, and then it'll say Boost. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. The boost ID thing. Do they still have that on Boost Phone ID? Or do they get rid of that? They got it still. Yeah, they got this like little package that it downloads and it, 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 it downloads a bunch a bunch of garbage that you know that <laughs> needs to just be disabled or deleted. I'm gonna spam the Discord link in the chat. If you have not joined the Discord link, go ahead and do so now. We would love to have you in there. And also, a hundred and three in the in the. If you ain't subscribed to any of us, be sure to subscribe to to all of us. Magic Tech, Mill Hustles, me, CV Tech. That would be awesome. Yeah, CV Tech. Are you going different. live today? I, I'm a, I'm undecided. Okay, because if you are, I have a list of questions for you. <laughs> okay. You know, my questions yes. that make you think. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, uh, the, the thinking questions. Yeah, CV Tech answers all your questions. I answer half your questions. Maybe. If I like you. <laughs> yeah, I'll answer, I'll answer every question. Yeah, he's crazy, man. He's, I don't know how he does it. I'll, I'll pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? So is Metro going to get four? That's that we don't know about that. We don't know about that. We know uh, the fifty dollar plan, the sixty dollar plan is going to change. They're going to be the first to get five G supposedly. Just because they said it though doesn't mean they're going to do it. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, uh, Bobby two o two one o eight four. I don't actually have my channel link. Um, how do you get the channel link? Because I I don't know how to get my channel link. All right, I'll drop your channel link. Let me let me. Let me just. Cause I don't have my channel link saved in, in my in here. I can just, I can just like drop it. I need to. Yeah. 
missed you for real, for sure. Where are you again? Or you can, or you can just pick. Like, like if I were to com, if, if I were to write, write a comment, I'm like the CV tape with the blue wrench. You can just press my little picture to the side and go to channel and subscribe there as well. But if you got a link, then that would be that would be good as well to drop in the. You can drop I'm it. Going, you can drop it in the chat. I'm going right now. Paste. There you go. CV tape. This is CV text link right here, guys. I'm spamming it in the chat right now. So. There you go, there right you go. there. Also, also, I also have a, have a tiny URL as well. This is just the same thing. I just can't remember it right off of my head. There you go. Yeah, man, that dude. I don't know how you do it, bro, but you do you do a good job on that one, man. Now, well, come on, come on back, subscribe. Come on back. Now, now, as far as like, if I do a video in the comment section, a lot of times I will forget to reply to comments, but that's what I do live streams for. And that's why I'm like, you know, I wish to everybody who lets comments on my videos will subscribe that way if they have any comments about anything, they can just come into my live stream. Cause most, basically my, my streams are basically, you know, just technology Q and A's to where they can just ask me any question and if, if I know it, I'll tell you. If I don't know it, I'll be up front, and I, I won't try to, you know, make up some crap. I'll just tell you, I don't know, you know, because um, I don't know everything, of course. I don't know a lot of things. that there's, There is a lot of things that I don't know. I mean, I, I've heard people say things in text. I'm like, seriously? But I do what I can. I try, I try my best, you know. Yeah. So, man, um, I mean, you think straight talk's gonna do anything different, or they're just gonna stay the same old, same old as they usually are? I don't see. No, I don't see nothing right now. Right now, right now, changing on straight talk. I mean, the, I believe that straight talk needs to get better phones and better pricing, because straight talk typically gets the the water, the most watered down version of phones, and they sell them for a premium price. I mean, a very premium price. I mean, the Stylo Four, um, you know. <laughs> was two is two hundred dollars and it is you know it has the same processor as the metro cricket and all of them where boost got the media tech one but the storage was halved from 32 which every carrier got the 16 on straight talk straight talk is the best looking style of four in my opinion um with that with that really nice blue moroccan blue back and it and honestly it don't scratch as easily as the other ones do but they want $200 for it. So honestly, I think that straight talk, what they need to do, because their plans are decent enough, but their phone selection is just not that good. And when they do get a, a phone come in, you can about bet it, it's going to be a watered down version. Um, it's, it's going to be ridiculously expensive. You know, another thing, mm. another carrier has come out with the Stylo 4 for 200 bucks and only being 16 gigs. Being Xfinity Mobile. Ah, okay. Now let me ask you, CB, the Straight Talk one. I, I didn't check. Does it have fast charging? I haven't tried it yet, so um, I, I'm going to try to the, the the person the the, the buy, see, see the phone's not mine. Uh, some, somebody bought it. They want me to set it up for them, and so I said, well, let me let me do an unboxing. I'll set it up for you and everything. So I'm going to try to get that person to lend me their phone again for like a day. I want to try. Um, a fast charger on it. I'm gonna see if, see what it does, and uh, and, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I will definitely check that out if I, uh, as soon as I can. Mm. Robert Allen says, come up? Robert Allen, Robert Allen says, City, if you go live with Mill Hustles questions, you better have the etc. in handy." <laughs> Gonna put oh, a yeah. gonna put a strain on my brain, man. But yeah, man. Honestly, that straight talk one is the best looking. I just really wish it had the thirty two gigs. I really, really do. If it had the thirty two gigs, honestly, I mean, it would be about like the Metro version without the fast charge and in, in NFC. I mean, everybody don't care about fast charge. Everybody don't care about NFC. I would say probably eighty percent of people don't care about NFC. Most people, you say you're from got NFC. Does it got what? They don't even know what it, they don't even know what it means, you know. But there is that percentage that you know 
loves NFC and they'll use it on all their and they won't buy a phone without it and, I, and that's understandable um but most people don't know you like does it got NFC uh what's what what is NFC you know I want, yeah, I, want I, don't use, I don't use NFC. I want to comment on uh, Sean White's uh, thing here it says I actually been watching Magic Tech Review for a couple of years now but I didn't sub until a few months ago sorry yeah it happens a lot man I, I actually do the same thing sometimes sometimes I, I, I binge watch people. I don't subscribe to them. I just keep watching their content, and that's fine too, man. I've actually had customers come to my shop, come into Cricket Wireless, or come into that. Oh, you're cutting it out. I know about little. You're cutting out, man. Bad. Let me. All right. Better. Yeah, you can cut out. Yeah, I can cut out. No. Yeah. All right. I'll just wait for a few. Um, I want to say this here though. Anybody contemplating straight talk and you want to buy a phone, the only phone right now, I, if you want to spend two hundred dollars or less, go with the Moto G6. Moto G6 has the exact same specs as the unlocked version. They did not water it down. It has the same one point eight quad, uh, one point eight four fifty processor, the same three gigabytes of RAM, thirty gig, thirty gigabytes of storage, the same turbo fast charge, the same cameras, the same everything. I mean, the only thing that it, the only thing that it, not, it did not come with was the clear case that other carriers they throw in a clear case with the Moto G six. That's the only thing it didn't include. It's one seventy nine at Walmart for the Moto G six. They want one ninety nine. For the subpar Stylo Four, and I say subpar because it has no fast charging that I know of. Um, it only has sixty gigabytes of storage, um, and it just and it only has two gigabytes of RAM. With the Moto G Six, you're getting an extra gigabyte of RAM. You're getting double the storage, the same processor, the one point eight four fifty processor. You're getting um, really nice dual cameras, better cameras in my opinion, uh, from what I've seen. You're getting turbo charging for one for twenty bucks cheaper, so I can't stress enough. If you got if you're on, I mean, and, and honestly, if you got Total Wireless, that phone can be used on Total Wireless because because um because it, it's it's the same thing. I mean, if you got Total Wireless, Total Wireless does sell it does uh, Straight Talk and Total Wireless both sell the Moto G6. It's the same phone, same specs, it's just different packaging is all. And both of them are one seventy nine. But I, but you know, um, if you have a, if you if you can't find one Total Wireless, you buy a Straight Talk. I can about ninety nine percent tell you if you put your Total Wireless SIM card in there, it's gonna work without any changes. I, I, Another I mean, thing, guys, like I'm a I'm a I'm a track phone employee, and I represent Straight Talk Total Wireless Family Mobile. Um, another great option, and we get paid the same either way. But look for an older Verizon flagship. Or yeah. an older AT and T flagship, and you can bring it over to Straight Talk. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Other yep. than iPhones. Yep, I knew some. I knew somebody. Somebody that bought, that bought a Verizon unlocked LG V twenty. I popped their Total Wireless SIM card in there. Worked like a champ. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, uh, you're, you're you're still a little, a little, a little fady, but we can uh, I, we can hear you a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is little John's watching his dang 1080p. Do you have hey John? Do you have an, another another way like th th you're the only one on on, an, on the network where you can maybe get faster speeds? Yeah, I can do. Actually, I can jump on my own hotspot on Cricket. That's right. So let me try that. Wait, go ahead, guys. Why do that? I mean, like I say, a fast charging slow. I mean, there's times like if I'm like in a, like if I had to be somewhere, I have to be out and like my phone's at like twenty percent. Like on the let's say the Moto G6, if it's at like twenty percent battery and I got to leave the house in like thirty minutes, and I need I need I need my phone to be fully charged. From twenty percent with that turbo charge on the G6, I mean, I can be up to about eighty percent in thirty minutes. You know, but other than that, I don't care if it's fast charging or not. I mean, as long as it charges in a decent amount of time, most time I don't charge my, I charge my phones overnight or something like that. So I don't really, so it really don't bother me if it's fast or slow charging, but uh, fast charging is good to have. But to me, it's just not like a definite necessity. Like I just must like, like a deal breaker for me. I mean, 
And and and, and like, like NFC, I don't care if any phone I had it had, had NFC. I care less. I never use it. But yeah, I mean, I agree. Um, I mean, like the ZTE Max Blue, great phone, but it had low lower end specs. This two hundred dollars when it came out, and it's still two hundred dollars if you can find it. But I mean, I like. I mean, I'm on Total Wireless. I don't. Have, I mean, straight talk Total Wireless. They're about, they're about the same. But I personally like, like Total Wireless. I mean, I mean, I got an unlimited. I got an unlimited carrier, better SIM. I'm paying thirty eight bucks a month for. It. I'm on. I, I'm the third line on Total Wireless. So I pay nearly nothing for the third line, so I don't really care. And then I also got NetBuddy as well, so, so I'm pretty well covered. <laughs> Oh yeah, my my perception on Straight Talk has been uh, is a complete 360 compared to how I felt about them last year. Yeah, and I've always been a fan of Total Wireless. So, yeah, I mean Total Wireless. If they just offered more plans than just just, I mean they only offer two, they only offer two. Individual plans, twenty five dollars just talking text, thirty five dollars for five gigs, or if you buy the buy the the refill card at Walmart, you get six gigs. They don't offer anything else but those just those two plans. But I mean, but Straight Talk fifty five dollars is unlimited, so there you go. And you're on the Verizon network, so you can kind of count that as a plus. Yep. What do you think is better out of Simple Mobile and Family Mobile? If I had a choosing, I would probably go with Simple Mobile over Family Mobile. I don't think I don't think there's really any any difference to be honest with you. Other than truly uncapped data. Well, both of them had that, didn't they? Or I think Family it? Mobile is 22 gigs now. Okay. Cuz Simple, Simple Mobile Used to be forty five for forty five or forty nine for truly unlimited. And you couldn't beat that deal either. That was a good deal. But the only problem was um was so, 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 simple mobile definitely did not use all the team up with towers at all. I can tell a big difference in coverage from Actually, from from like better sim to simple mobile, I can tell a huge difference because um, there, uh, there was a lot of places where I ran I ran out of coverage a lot with simple mobile more than I do with better sim or, or, or actual T Mobile. Is Metro going? Is Metro still going to be offering the port in offers? Now, did they mention that? Did they mention that? What's that? Are they going to still be offering the really good port-in offers? I mean, what they have now, yeah, but I'm sure there's going to be new deals uh, when these plants launch. Yeah, I mean, Mint, Mint Mobile, I, I, I just really don't know about Mint Mobile. I'm, I'm surprised they're really even sold around. Uh, I mean, that's a really good deal. Two gigabytes of data with only talking text for fifteen dollars a month. That's a really good deal. But I still don't really hear much about Mint Mobile. You know? Yep. And honestly, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how long Better Sim will last. I mean, it, I mean, it may one day. Cause see, it's it's funny. It's Better Sim. But whenever I, I mean, the only way to pay my bill every month is I get an email from a from a whole different from a whole different company name, saying your bill is due, and it's I, I click on the email, I go to a link, I pay my bill, yeah. and then that's it. I can, I don't go to an actual website, be able to check everything. It's weird how Better Sim does it, 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 uh, is doing their stuff. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. It's in the window and Little John's off of his 
stuff. He was streaming 4K. You sound a lot. You sound a lot better. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can turn my camera on now. Woo! All right. Let's see. Better. Looks better. So far. I got it in. I got it in the winder. Winder. Yeah. So. Guys, Hopefully that's better, know. guys. But anyways, thank you guys for bearing with me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I have that's why I tend to have a lot of people on here, such as Mill Hustle, CB Tech, uh, you know, JG Tech Blog, Varieties Tech, AO Tito. So they they hold it down while you know I have to do stuff with Little John because you know, guys, that's just me and Little John usually at night, my meet autistic son. So I have to take care of him and do stuff like that. But you guys know who I am. So I mean it's not like I <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You guys know who I am. Man, yeah. that man, that, just doing that made all the difference in the world, man. <laughs> really, it did. Okay. Uh, but I did want to address that one point. Uh, somebody said that they had watched a bunch of my videos for, for years now, but had just recently just subscribed a couple months back, and they're, they said they're sorry. Uh, I've done that myself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Um, Michelle... I Ask I've done what? that myself sometimes. I, but I but I go back okay, but I go back and I go back and subscribe. So there's a lot of people out, out there, you know, that's why we're always saying please like the video, please subscribe if you haven't, you know, that's why we say that stuff. Uh Michelle asked, what are your thoughts on the K20 plus on Metro? Uh the, the phone I heard was actually pretty good. Uh, I heard it's better than the K30. Uh, I've seen different reviews on the K20 and the K30, and most people that I've seen said that the K20 is a lot, K20 Plus is a better phone than the K30. So I've heard good things about it. I'm not sure how long it's been out and all like that, but um, I heard it was a good phone. But I've never really owned the phone. I've just watched I just I've watched videos on it, but that's about it. What's going on, Big John Tech Reviews? How's it going? So, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. so got 92 watching. Yeah. So I like the camera off sometimes, too, you know what I'm saying? Just chilling out. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I, I I don't know why when your camera is on, it seems to be more choppy than when your camera off. I mean, I, you wouldn't think that the camera would pull that much. Yeah, but I guess resources off my computer, this computer, this laptop, man, is very, very old. Mm, yeah. It's just, it's special and it's just not good at all. So. Time, time to take her out, out, out yonder and she, take her out pasture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how I am, man. I'm passionate, bro. I, I use what I use and do what I gotta do, man. Regardless. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, you, you gotta use what you, you know, you know what you got, you know. Yeah. Uh, and you know, like I said, hopefully here in about two weeks, you know, I'm gonna have a whole new setup uh, to where I can quit being out here so much. I mean, it's it's now beginning to get fall of the year. It's beginning to get that cool, crisp air. So I want to be I want to be out here more than than I was in the summertime, because you know you know me, I can be out here at twenty degrees and be comfortable. Um, but hopefully, in a couple of weeks, I have I'm gonna have a whole lot better setup. And yeah, so hopefully things are gonna change in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, I have better I mean better lighting. I would like to get me a really nice camera, uh, but them, but they ain't cheap. Like one of them really nice cameras that. A lot of people use for like because a lot of times LED lights stuff like that they they affect cell phone performance and as far as videos go. You know, I can recommend a camera, the iPhone camera. SE. That's what I always use. I use the iPhone SE for everything, but for some reason the LED, the LED lighting, um, it just it's like everything turns. I mean, the background turns yellow or it gets really dim and uh, it use just looks awful. They sell these $5 LED lights at Walmart, table lamps. And when I do a video, I try to do it during the day. I'll turn that light on, I'll open the front door, and I'll turn the living room light on. Mm. And that, that, that usually helps. And also, well, my bedroom has the brightest kind of bulbs you can possibly get. So we'll see, mine does too. I, I got the brightest possible bulb I can get, but it don't seem to really help a whole lot. And you know, I, I've noticed that natural lighting, like like 
from like if you're like next to a window and it's real sunny, that really helps out. But um, but if you're like in a in a room and you, know, you I mean, I have like a hundred watt equivalent you know, daylight LED that's really very freaking bright. But when I said, I mean, no matter what phone I use, when I'm doing going to make a video unboxing or whatever it may be. You know, whenever you're looking at the phone, it looks good. Everything looks fine. But when as soon as you cut the phone on, it's like it's like the background changes colors. It gets yellow, turn different, and it just flickers a little bit and has. I mean, I'm like, I just can't seem to get it right. Hey, I take you out, guy. What's going on, bro? Yeah, good luck finding the iPhone 6s poured in for forty nine dollars. That's a, that, that, I mean, Michelle, that is probably one of the best deals right now with Metro with Metro. Um, but good luck finding that deal. We can't find that deal. Me and Melissa, we, we've been looking. We can't find that deal anywhere. We can't find them anywhere that sells the iPhone 6s because everywhere is either saying we don't sell that phone or everybody is saying we're out of stock. So, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm still looking for one. I haven't given up hope yet. In California, okay. Your boss has two success. Uh, once again, uh, okay, yeah, it was retracted. I was fixing to read, read your comment there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay, wow. Appreciate it. Take you out, guy. We got to do a video or something one day, man. CV. Yo, what's going on? John we Lee? Have to, we have to do that. Yeah, I think so. We have to do that iPhone SC video soon, bro. Yeah, man. What's, what's your next day off? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And we, we may have to do it. So just hit me up. Okay. I decided to just close out to the whole thing. Yeah, like what happened? Okay. To, like what happened to John? He just he just left. Yeah, no, nah, it was just I, I just I was just trying something, and also I seen that uh, YouTube was playing in the background as well. I had a YouTube uh, playing in the background the whole time, so that you know, I didn't know that. Hmm. Says, uh, says, good stuff, guys. Got to go to work at 4 a.m. Have a good All right, Dan Snickles. An awesome profile picture. I'm a big Terminator fan, Mr. Dan Snickles. Please subscribe to my channel, too, bro. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. All right, so are we good? We're going to wrap it up. We're going to go a little bit longer. We'll go a little bit. Oh, you guys? You're, you're still cutting out pretty bad, man. <sighs> That sucks. Let's see here. No bandwidth. <laughs> I may I may try to go live for a little bit. I don't know. I might get trolled up again, so I don't I don't know. <laughs> we got your back, man. Don't worry about it. I was thinking of going live on Instagram, but that's too much for me today. Mm. I'm just sitting here thinking about what all the questions, the list of questions I'll get from Mill Hustles if I go live. Ah, uh, you know me, bro. I always give you those, like those, uh, you know, brain pickers. Yeah. <laughs> Clorox bleach. Yeah. What happened to that guy, man? We used to, he used to come in here all the time, man. Oh yeah, I remember. I don't know. Yeah, shit happens. Whatever happened to John Ledger? Oh, God, that bum. And then Sprint CEO. <laughs> oh, let me not say that, right? He probably he might watch this. Hey, John Ledger, I love you, man. Metro, T-Mobile. John Ledger, I love your long hair. 
I remember you used to say it Ligur or something. Ledger or something like that. Ligur. No, hey, you, used to say you and John Ledger, Ledger the same first name. That means y'all are related, right? Yes. <laughs> John Legend. Let's talk but, about yeah. Cardi B versus Nikki. Jason, I made a video about that. I don't know if you watched it, but I've tried to branch out from tech a little bit, and I gave my take on that beef. Uh, NetBuddy, NetBuddy works, but uh, I need a I need a better router, I guess. This one doesn't do as good as the old one, which kind of stinks. But the yeah. other one had the other one had an antenna on it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, why don't you get NetBot on your channel, CB? Uh, I don't know. I got to Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know nothing about about uh night bot. Night huh? If there was a <laughs> night huh, that'd be much more trustworthy. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I think everybody's got the point. We got we got the we got the uh we got the news out. Everybody ready? Yeah. I reckon. Any closing statements? No point. No point in beating a dead horse. I don't know. So go live, bro. I might shortly. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. All right. Yeah. The blue ray. You can hear can hear word of that, man. What what'd you say? You're, you're welcome, Michelle. Subscribe to my channel, y'all. If uh, y'all like tech news and tech deals as well, check out CB Tech. He always does the awesome unboxings and live streams. And check out MTR. He does everything plus more. Awesome! Awesome. John, what was that last thing you said to me? I guess I guess it was to me, but I couldn't hear you because you was cutting out. Uh, I guess he's gone. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's Google Hangouts or NetBuddy or what. I don't or know. Cricket or his phone. All right. We can hear him again. Yeah. What's up? We already did the outro, bro. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, all right. So, uh, yeah. Well, I just want I just want to look real quick, see how this works, dude. I was I was asking what John at, uh, told me before. I couldn't hear him. He said something about live stream, and then he said something to me. I can't remember, but he was cutting out so bad. <laughs> CV Tech TV Blue Crew hat back. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I caught the very end of that. <laughs> he was just can't hear you, can't, can't hear you at all, man. Oh, okay. Maybe you can tell me in a little Jeez. bit. Maybe I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you on here. All right, all right, all right. That's all right. All right. Well, see you later, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye-bye.